the work of the Most High God, the work of the Lord has grown harder and harder because of uh, people who lead it, who don't have faith. We live the time uh, very like of uh, the Jewish dispensation. We live in uh, the time of the end where by faith, did Jesus Christ himself uh, said, uh, when the Son of Man will come, we really find faith on earth. So the big question here today is, uh, is there faith? Do we have faith? Do people have faith? A big question to us. Do we really have faith? Faith is uh, the one which can move mountains. The people of all, the, uh, we, we have been given in the book of uh, April chapter 11, a list of what is called faith. We have a list of what is called faith. Faith, my friend. Faith. If you are a leader and you don't have faith, it's better that you uh, just uh, leave that seat or you pray earnestly for the Lord to give you faith. You cannot lead a people without faith in such a moment as times which we, we live. For people of all have led the flock by faith. Father in heaven, another hour has come for you to speak to us. Lord, lead, speak as we listen. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and I believe. Amen. The Pharisees eclipse Christ. The blind Lord care. We need Elijah. Elijah has the trumpet, uh, the sound, a certain sound in such a time. The days of uh, uh, Elijah, the days of Elisha, we find that the Jews did not have faith. Even the king, when he was told today you would have food in the field, he did not believe it. When he was uh, told, uh, when um, Naaman was being healed, people never had faith. They weren't even to seek air from the gods of Ekron. People don't have faith. There is an eclipse. There is total and gross darkness to people. But God will have a righteous in this time. God will have a righteous of this time who will be faithful, faithful as the hand is to the uh, is to the poor. May God help you to have faith. May you look to Jesus directly without an eclipse. Do not be covered. So the message today more especially goes to the ministers, the elders, to the ministers in this time who are holding positions but they don't have faith. Who have a theory of truth but they don't have the spirit of it. These people are drawing people back. Like uh, in the days of old, Sister White is writing in the 1888 manuscript to Prater Madison and other authors. He says that they have been placed in responsible positions where it could be a great blessing to the churches if it were in the right relation to God himself. But he thinks that he has all the qualifications necessary for his position when he has not the sanctifying grace of Christ. People who don't have faith. So God is looking for people who have faith in such a time like this. Uh -huh. What is the problem with this man? He has not the blessed assurance that the promises of God are for him. People who don't have faith. Let's get to here. Today we will deal more about faith. The Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. But call to remembrance the former days in which, after ye were illuminated, ye endured a great fight of afflictions. Partly, whilst ye were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly, whilst ye became companions of them that were so used. For ye had compassion of me in my bonds, and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better and an enduring substance. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. Now the just shall live by faith. Where is faith? Where is your faith? Where are you in a position where you don't have faith? Where are you leading the flock of God? We need Moses of this time. People have faith. People can see the Red Sea and they did say, I can go through this. Yes, because who has commanded me to go forward? It is God, not the voice of man. No, it's the voice of God. 
So he does not know what it is to walk by faith. He fails to carefully consider points of doctrine that are new to him and is ever ready to question and cover over that which he does not understand. And I believe is the first thing that presents itself. People are covering, people are questioning those things which are new to them. They are questioning, ever questioning, but they just shall live by faith. Where is faith? Faith is when you say, this is Jordan, I must cross it. I don't care if there is crocodiles inside here, but if God has said, let me go, because he has commanded, I will go through. Yes, because the Lord has said, you remain through as the needle to the pole. Yes, that is faith. Faith, friend. You do not be like those who in the pandemic power down to the gods of Ekron. Many who have had great light have not appreciated and improved uh, it as it was their privilege to do. They are ever being a reproach to the cause of God. Yes, temptations are coming from Satan and they have gone to serve advancement. The Christ declares that he will spew these people out of his mouth because they are neither co nor ought. Thus our people have been taught to avoid drugs in almost every form who are receiving a different education. People need to be taught, like in the Shandemic. People who don't have faith, they go to the gods of Ekron. Yet they know that the Lord he is with them. The Lord strengthens the pawns. There has been loss of life in your Shandemic because drugs have been administered. Uh -huh. This is not according to the ways of God, friend. Let's be wise. We are now living in the last days when truth must be spoken in respect, respective of consequences. We need to stand faithful and be counted in. I was obliged to tell her that this practice of depending upon medicine, whether in large or small doses, was not in accordance with the principles of health reform. It was not accord in it was not in accordance with the three angels' messages. Trust in God. People have gone to the gods of Ekron. Where is faith? Look upon the leaders. What was the leader of the general conference agitating that take the jabs and the shots? This is Aaron Joyce's teachings. No, this is not God's teachings because people have departed. The science of this time has undermined the faith in the Bible. Uh -huh. The signs of this time, people depending upon the message which they hear about climate change, pandemic, calamities, they are depending on men. But the voice of God, they don't hearken. Where is faith? Every wind of doctrine has been growing. But where is your faith in such a time like this? Don't you know that your body is the temple of God? Uh huh. God says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 16, And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? You have gone to the gods of Ekron. Don't you know that the Spirit of the Lord dwells in you? Don't you know that you are the habitation of the Spirit of God? Don't you know that? How is it that you have gone back to the gods of Ekron? To Papron again? How is it that you have discarded God out of your temple? So we need to be wise, friend, in such a time. The just shall be by faith. God needs Elisha of this time. What is this Elisha? Elisha will say like in Micah 3, 8. But truly, I am full of the power. I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord, and of judgment, and of mighty, to declare unto Jacob his transgressions, and to Israel his sin, where is Elijah to stand and show the house of Jacob his transgression, and Israel their sin. They trust in men so much. They trust in their own philosophy and understanding rather than trusting in the word of God. The just shall be by faith. Yes. Any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are... If you draw back, if you are a backslider like the ancient Israel ever backsliding, God has no pleasure in us. He will leave us because we are neither cold, nor hot. We will draw back. God has no pleasure in us. Luke chapter 3 verses 2. And Annas and Caiaphas being the high priest, the word of the Lord came unto John the son of Zacharias in the wilderness. The word of the Lord came. He followed the word of God. But Israel, they had no power, nor the spirit of God. They were sapless. Yes, their trees were sapless. They needed sap. Friend, and he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. The house of Jacob, their sins and their translation. Why? Because the power of God, the Spirit of the Lord, was 
he was full of the spirit of the Lord and the power of God, friend. So he went out in the power of his mighty. Yes, those are the giddings of this time where God is saying, Go forward and conquer this. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 11. Whereas angels which are greater in power, we are the angels, we are the ministers who are greater in power and the mighty. Bring not rearing accusations. The Jews, the Pharisees, were accusing God's people, rearing accusation against them before the Lord. But they were spotless. Jesus was spotless. His children were spotless. His disciples were spotless. Where is faith? So, God is saying to those who are faithless, Real faith, friend. He scatters seeds of doubts and does not seek honestly for the grace of Christ in his soul. So, lead us who are scattering seeds of doubt rather than scattering the word of God, the sure anchor of the soul. Seek the grace of God. He does not possess a personal interest in truth as it is in Jesus. They are ever searching the wisdom of the world, looking to science false it is so called. He does not glorify God for the marvelous display of his love in bringing salvation within his reach. These are the leaders. He is imbued with the spirit of Phariseeism, which excludes from the soul the light of heaven, trusting in philosophy, trusting in men. If any man draw back to the gods of Ekron, if go any man draws back to Pahal, God has no pressure in him, self-satisfied, uh, self -satisfied. he does not see his own spiritual decision, they ever searching to the wisdom and the ways of men. Friend, like in the pandemic, they go to, to to Papron, they go to Egypt, those who killed them the pa time passed, those who were persecuting them as a uh, Revelation chapter Revelation chapter thirteen and even in Revelation chapter seventeen speaks of the papacy that she shed a lot of blood. How is it that then you go back to Rome? How is it that you return back to Rome? Friend, that's a very a very dangerous ground. A very dangerous ground. Let's return. Let's return to the Lord. For help, for his leading. Not like our leaders drew back in the pandemic. They say, you know what? Like Mark Finray, they were saying, men are stirring up controversy in Adventism by speaking against government mandates. But we knew that our body is the temple of God. If they draw back to the gods of Ekron, the gods of Israel has no part with these people. Uh -huh. For how are they calling us? We are, they are calling us sex that we don't adhere to the mandates of the government. But we know our liberties. We know our position. Men who God has greatly honored will, in the closing scenes of this history, draw back, but written. God has no part in them. They pattern after ancient Israel. Our departure from the great principles Christ has laid down his teachings are working out of human projects using the scripture to justify a wrong course of action and the perverse working of Lucifer. What were they saying in the pandemic about the jabs and shots? This is the love of God that you take the jabs and shots because of your neighbor. Common good, public interest because of my neighbor. Take the jab so that you cannot transmit this and this for that. But what about the temple of God? Yes, these people, what were they doing the pandemic or before? They say we will regret your scriptures. We bring your summons to the government to check on them with the pandemic. Pastors to turn over summons. All oh, these who have been saying for so long because they fought the papacy. Who is saying that those who insist on keeping the truth over preaching the gospel have always threatened the church. So what are they doing? Regretting the church, the spirit of moderation which we covered are on. What a message of this time. People are looking to a different prince of peace rather than looking to Jesus Christ. But Jesus is saying, Behold me, behold me, look unto me, look unto me. Do not look on the Sabbaths of the papacy or the teachings of the papacy. Do not look on the ways of the gods of Ekron, the ways of Papron. No, look to Jesus. Do not look to this counterfeit angel of light who has come in this our time. We live in the last days whereby we need people of faith. If he will be a successful soldier of, of the cross, he must be transformed by the power of divine grace. His spirit must be softened and subdued before he can walk in harmony with Christ. So, Brother Mira, why did you and your brother Howard appear so list, uh, listless at the Wexford meeting? What was happening here? They did not have faith, friend. Faith! If you draw back, God has no pressure on you. Them who draw back onto perdition.
but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Believe unto the saving of the souls, friend. But these people, they are foreign so far, like the king of Israel who fell from an Iratis. For the Bible says also of the charges falling in 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 3, Let no man deceive you by another means, for that the day of the Lord shall not come except there come a falling away first to perdition. And that son of man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition, they fall to perdition. Judges are foreign. There is gross darkness and an eclipse in the earth, friend. So the Spirit of the Lord was manifestly at the work. But you did not recognize the fact. You bore no testimony that harmonized with the testimony of those through whom God was working. Elijah is here. Uh -huh. Elisha is here. Gray hairs are here and there. Yet he does not know. Why did you come to the meeting? Have you expenses paid? You are time recompensed when you would offer nothing that would bring light to the source of others. You bring only bring darkness, doubt. And they say, listen to the mandates. Did you think your indifference would repeat? Your indifference would be counted a virtue when you draw back to perdition. You acted no part to advance the meeting or the work of God. You not partake of the spirit of the Lord, but part of the world. Of worldlings, papist worldlings. And the Protestants, they go forward after the word spiritualism. You do not partake of the Spirit of the Lord. And it would have been better for you to have remained at home with your doubts and criticism rather than thinking that you are doing the work of God. Rather than coming to the meeting, rather than coming to the congregation of the saints. The Lord was in the comments. Souls were cheered, encouraged, and blessed because we see that our master is about to come. But you remained outside of the healing benefit of the Spirit of God. A stream of water will rise to the height of its source. So it is with the religion. If it comes from God, it will lead to God. He who has a connection with Christ is a living missionary. As he receives the word of life, he gives it again to others. So, if you have received the word of God, share with others. Do not be cold. Do not be warm. Just be found elsewhere where you are warm or cold so that we can know, so that we can deduce which side you are. Don't be a doubter. Don't look to men for solutions. Like in the pandemic, you were following the purpose for so long. Who said, Pope Francis tells job skeptics to stop being hideous and get their shots. Who are you following the pandemic? Well, who then? Who are you following in this time of the climate change? Pope Francis, loud that the same expresses more obligation to fight climate change. In the pandemic, you are following the purpose who said uh, you are a skeptics and idiots who you don't want to get their shots. And what do they want to bring for us in the pandemic? Punishments. In their campaigns, what will they bring in the climate change agenda now? Because the Papa said he dealt with climate change in the time past. He dealt with also in the time past under the issue of what? Jabs and shots. So what will they do in this time? They will force us. Every principle of the purpose that existed in the past ages exists today. The doctrines devised in the dark ages are still held. Let none deceive themselves. Have you not deceived yourself? Have you not fallen back? Backwards. If you fall backwards, all oh leaders, God has no part with you. You have been following the papacy for so long. The doctrine from Papron, from Wallings, from those who know not God. You have been going to the gods of Ekron. Where is Elisha? Where is Elijah in this time? Oh friend, we need to be faithful in such a time where we live now. Wherever the church has obtained secular power, for government mandates, she has employed it to punish dissent from our doctrines. Protestant churches that are foreign in the states of Rome by foreign, forming alliance with warring powers have manifested a similar desire to restrict the liberty of conscience. Our liberty is at stake because we know our bodies uh, are the temple of God. Are you following that fox of the f uh, air rod? Oh, friend, that's a very dangerous ground you're treading. Pope Francis called for new world order after the pandemic. So who is behind all this? It's Rome. It's the gods of Ekron. Chapter 11. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, the word was framed by the word of God. Yes, that is faith. God is able to do marvelous and greater things. That is conscience. 
my conscience tells me that the Lord has done it. It is marvelous before our eyes. Look to God, not to men. Not like in the Shanghai, people are, people are looking to men. Wars and rumors of wars in articles and economics, people are looking to men to detect it quickly, to annihilate that crisis quickly, to do what? To separate quarantine it quickly. They are looking to men for solutions. Oh, friends, do not join them. Do not fear their fear. Do not join their confederacy. And do not fear their fear. Look to God. Do not look to Rome. Do not look for solutions from men who are taking away liberties. People are wandering after the peace rather than following the Lamb of God. They are following the peace, friend. What a dangerous society. They are following the dragon. They are following Egypt. They have forgotten their living God. These are the people who are calling us that are, who are fundamentalists, that we are a prig, that we are dangerous to the society. Yes, Satan is constantly accusing Christians as the cause of loss, misfortune and suffering instead of allowing the reproach to fall where it belongs upon himself and his agents. Are we foreign back to perdition? If you don't have faith, you are foreign back to perdition. You are foreign your angel of light who has transformed himself like an angel of light to save the world. Of whom, a, of whom a man is overcome, of the same way as if we brought to bondage. Our leaders are falling backwards. Backwards, friend. Are falling away fast. Our leaders. I believe God is working through uh, SDA leader. Abomination. That is not the case. That is not the case, friend. Because you have seen that for so long they have been obsessed in a different sense. Not with the word of God, but to their own conceivable means. These people, uh -huh, if you read that, you post and read these testimonies from Sister White, how they were following a Catholic procession. Yes. Have you been drinking of the living waters, O oh leaders? Have you been giving it to others? The Lord has committed to us a message for, full of interest, that is as far reaching in its influence as eternity. We have tidings to give to the people which should bring joy to their souls, friend. Look to Jesus, not to men, not in the climate, not like in the pandemic, you look to men, not like men who have I, I idolized and lifted up an idol Sabbath, which they are, falling, uh, they are forcing it over us. When power is allied to wickedness, it is allied to satanic agencies, and it will work to destroy those who are the Lord's property. The Protestant world have set up an idol Sabbath. An idol marriage, the place where God is up as should be, and they are treading the full sense of the purpose, the son of perdition, friend. They follow him for so long, climate eating, whose doctrines are they following? They are following the Pope's teachings, like that is seven years action plan. They have been following this faith for art initiative, following the purpose for so long. God is calling for them to come to their senses, these sons of perdition, and return. Even our Adventist leaders, they have been following this. They are Adra, they are using God's money to gods of Ekron, to abomination of the earth's degree. Oh friend, what a dangerous ground. Your acts are part of okay. care. We want men in this branch of, of the cause who can avail themselves of the privilege of drinking at the fountain of life, not drinking the one of Papron, whose souls are full of gratitude and praise, and who can lead others to the well of living waters, not to Papron. Oh friend, you need the spirit of the great teacher. You need the spirit of a, a little child, like uh, Solomon. He went, he said, I am like a little child. You be like a little child, ready to run, to listen what God says. You fall that part. You need the spirit of a little child, conscious of your weakness. You are weak. Don't be cold. Be warm. Be found one friend, willing to be instructed in the right way. This is the way for it, not many's wisdom. You, if you are the spirit, you will not be dry and formal and lifeless like at the time of Jezebel and Ahab. No dew, no rain, friend. You will not be dry and formal and lifeless. You will learn from the great teacher, precious lessons of wisdom, self-esteem, which is hateful to God, looking to yourself, looking to philosophy, to yourself, has been nourished and strengthened by men of your uh, our brethren. And some of them have taught it a virtue to criticize the ideas, the plans and the work of God, which is using Elijah, which is using Elisha in this time, criticizing plans which were made for the advancement of the work.
The I have rejected the three angels' messages, earth message. The affair that they must be fastened upon every objectable and make every difficulty, appa difficult apparent. They were pushing Jesus Christ in every sentiment, ever arguing, ever looking for ways to uh, stop him, to cover him. And if their opinions had been received and their counsels acted upon, far less would have been done than has been accomplished to advance the work of God. So why are they ready to suggest plans and to criticize the efforts of Jesus or of his disciples or of others? They do not put their whole soul in the work even to carry out their own plans. It is not pleasant for others to unite with them in this confederacy because of their habit of holding back and criticizing. Holding back. They want to hold back until they have a better time which they think they can act. That is very dangerous. Let's go ahead. Go forward is the voice of Moses. Go forward. This. These people are holding forward for so long. When these men are placed upon uh, committees to consult in regard to ways and means to advance the cause of God. Our leaders and conferences, most of them, they often pardon the work with criticisms so that it is difficult to carry it forward. Those who God is using Elijah of this time, of Elisha, John the Baptist of this time, they say, we give you the authority, we are here. This is Phariseeism. These words not only fail to give encouragement, but often they are a positive hindrance. They go to the gods of Ekron to ask for air friend. For so long, they have for, been following the God is man faith They have been following the purpose is man faith movement. Abomination. Grammy talks must eat the core of Pope Francis and the man faith movement whose doctrine insists and our leaders have been drinking in this areas for so long and god is saying return unto me advanced environmental preservation drive other influences climate solutions at cop 28 this is not a rest arise in the path for this is not a rest it shall destroy you even if there's so destruction let's go home but our leaders they are following the papacy is is trained they are in the same pot following the papacy is green initiative which is the crime predicted at the the planet. This abomination, an evangelical guide to the sea, abomination, doctrines of Rome. For so long, they have been following an idol Sabbath. God is saying, return unto me. Oh, God, these people, awakened. We have been in this area for so long. What is faith? What is faith? Hebrews chapter 11. Which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. By faith, Abel offered our father and a good uh, what sacrifice than, uh, than Cain, friend. Abel offered a good sacrifice. Over your bodies a living sacrifice. Allow the word of God to be in you to do his work in you. Time and again, methods wise redevised have been set before God's people and these ministers and elders. And because it did not originate themselves, it is proved of them. Uh -huh. And they have been given up when they should have been carried out. God has been bringing mechanisms to do the work of God in such a time. In the news, in everywhere, things, the message we hear is... Uh, that God's work should go ahead. But these people cannot see. Pope Francis is regretting, he says, freedom of expression has limits. Yet people cannot see that liberty is at stake. That the Roman, is, Roman Catholic principles are, are being taken over by the world and it's making the world mad. Like in the pandemic, we've been seeing for this for so long. They have been following the purpose who has been going ahead of them. For all the world has been wandering after the papacy. They have been trusting the purpose for so long. When will you wear awake, O oh, sluggard, O oh, sluggard, yet a little sleep and more slumber? And you think tomorrow will be like this day? Friend, abomination, probation is closing. O oh, ministers, O oh, elder, you should not think that, uh, okay, you should not think that uh, his main business in his official capacity is to raise objections and block the wheels, allow God's work to advance, allow God's ministers to do. They appointed the work in such a time like this. If you will continue sleeping, sleep, sleep. In these men who will lift and push, we need men 
the elder van who was faithful he needs men who will lift and push the work of god ahead not those who are hindering uh-huh uh-huh if you think you elders and conferences who are holding back you think your cause is wise they are greatly deceived you are deceived friend you must look to jesus they must have a transformation of character in order to be useful men in the cause of god that they may be able to receive their overcomers reward year after look to jesus friend it's an easy matter uh, to find objections to plans and see difficulty in the way of carrying them out so the unfaithful spies had no trouble in seeing and presenting obstacles that appeared instrumental in the way of advancement of the people of God. Satan is ever ready to suggest and believe, to point out objections over which to quipo to reveal difficulties that seemingly cannot be overcome. People brought evolution, people brought Darwinism, doubt, friend, doubt, doubt, bringing diseases and calamities. Yet people cannot see how they can come out of all this. But God says, if you look to me, when these things are happening, I know the way is becoming uh, narrow and narrower. You will be an overcomer. Look to Jesus. For there is gross darkness the people. God is looking for his own people. Can he find people? Our uh, sister Ellen Joy tells he went to seek for at the Advent people. He could not find them. But the Lord told him, look yet again. Then he found people who are waking up. He started seeing a people in a narrow path. Do we find those groups of Elijah? Are you following the Roman Catholic who have been uh, doing what investigation? Who brought a crisis knowing they were investigating it before? This their intelligence, what were they doing the Roman Catholics? They were doing the case investigating the religious aspect of immunization. What were they were doing? They came to Papron, they came from Papron investigating within us. They were investigating us before the protest crisis. What all this they have done again and again. So John 16 verse 2. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yeah, the time come that whosoever kills you will think that he does God a service. Oh, these people are blind. They must press forward in the way of the Lord with as much earnestness as uh, the doubters manifest in seeking to hinder in them. So God is people are faithful. Go forward, friend. Those who find fault know not what spirit they are of. Like they were finding fault in the work of God and in Jesus Christ, his work, in his disciples. They think they love the truth like Saul and the cause of God. But their, their own ideas, their own ways are dearer to them. Their own ideas, their own ways are dearer to them that, than the advancement of the Lord's work. If it does not go according to their own mind. Not the man which was in Christ. It is like plucking out a right eye or taking off a right arm to give up their own way or a will and receive and act upon the counsel or direction of others. Friend, look to Jesus, not to men. Not for men who have been looking to men for solutions. They're looking for a better future, but through many's lens, not in many's, not in the Lord's eyes, friend. People are running out of power. Who, whose eyes are they looking to? It is claimed that instant wonder time will come when the rich control means of communication. Even now, churches, people are becoming, they think they are rich so-called. They are controlling the work of God. So that we can look through their own perspective, through their own lens. Like Charles Darwin, you look through Charles Darwin's lens. You look through the purpose's lens, purpose's guide, oh friend. They want to control our mind, microchips in our mind. They want to control our mind that we can look through their lens. The Papa said, look to, look to the earth through God's lens. Who is this calling himself God? Who is this becoming a guide, giving people a other sea? Who is this pe person who became a guide, leading people in the pandemic, saying you are uh, a skeptic if you don't receive your jobs? Whose lens are they using? The Papa says lens. He's calling us fundamentalists. He's calling us a, as a prig, friend. These have one mind to the purpose. They shall give their power and their strength unto the purpose. Revelation 17, 13. They are brought out on an idol Sabbath. Look to the true Sabbath through God's lens. Separation of the world is required of all the children of light. But separation is fearing and sympathy from brethren in the faith is a mistake. And it comes through the working of Satan. Like we saw in the pandemic, people separated in the feelings, in the sympathy. People had no sympathy. They were controlling our concerns. No sympathy friend this was the work of satan 
May the Lord help this uh, uh, president to work in his way. They are now enshrouded in darkness, gross darkness, the people, but God has a people who he says will arise and they will be joined by the people from the east and from all sides of the world because they see this is liberty. Liberty is a stake. Dragon voice is being heard. Liberty is going away. The souls of men are captive. They know not at what they stumble, these leaders. The leaders of the plan, they shall fall into the ditch because they have been following government mandates in the pandemic, in crisis after crisis. They have been following rather the city teachings of Rome. These men who in, are who in the crossing scenes of this artist or part and after ancient Israel, following the tradition of men, following the gods of Ekron, following the wisdom of men, these people, they don't know what they are stumbling on. Oh, brother Miras. Brother Miras have uh, walked in an period of Phariseeism and darkness to such an extent that they do not know what is, uh, it is to breathe the free atmosphere of heaven, of faith, faith, love, confidence and truth. What is faith? Again, what is faith? Breathe the atmosphere of faith. It obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony, that he pleased God. Have you pleased God, or are you pleasing men? Are you looking through the lens of heaven, the atmosphere of heaven? Are you breathing the atmosphere of heaven, or you are breathing the atmosphere of the world? As the world is breathing, you are breathing the atmosphere of the world, the wisdom of men. Where are you breathing? Are you breathing the atmosphere of heaven, or you are breathing the atmosphere of the your mind? Is ever your plans are like the world? If they stood in the clear light, they would not see anything in the way of arty cooperation with the work of others. God is displeased with the spirit that prompts them to combat and oppose their brethren. But they do not realize that their criticism results from natural and cultivated traits of their own character. They have never seen this to be evil as they really are or the necessity of overwhelming them. They have been looking to the world. Pop to Clinton Group Initiative. Children and cremates must both be protected. Whose lanes are they following? Human laws. Human laws will be made so stringent that men and women will not dare to observe the 70 day Sabbath. For fear of wanting food, clothing, they will join with the world in transgressing God's law. Whereas Elijah and the earth will be holy under my dominion. The devil speaks. New stranger legislation threatened data privacy and surveillance protection in Tanzania. All these things have been going out of the world. Carbon credit scores and sustainable development goals align climate, uh, aligning climate action with global priorities. What is this? Control. Climate eating away an African economy. Uh -huh. Obama says climate change is a matter of national security. Human laws will be made so stringent that men and women will be not there to observe the 70 day Sabbath. We are almost there. Stringent laws are coming. They are increasing, coming to America. American social credit system. Carbon, uh -huh. carbon credits and how they can offshoot your carbon footprints. Do you see? What I say, the assertion that God's judgment had visited upon men for the version of the Sunday Sabbath will be repeated already. It's beginning to be urged, and a, mov a movement to enforce Sunday observance is fast gaining ground. What do you see? Very, very dangerous. Control. Control, friends. Control. What time are we? living under an oligarchy unfortunately yes you see the consolidation of ownership of every industry smaller and smaller numbers of players less and less competition ownership consolidated into fewer and fewer hands they've got immense power people behind the scenes who want to for some weird reason try to control all of humanity it seems just use the pandemic for every example of how they will implement what they want to do i mean they, they lockdowns mask mandates all of it uh, forcing you to put things into your body that you may not want to put into your body what they seem to want is a system like they have in china bill gates praised 
the CCP's pandemic response. Klaus Schwab will say the CCP has a great ability to mobilize, you know, and, and that's really a euphemism for total authoritarian uh, control over its population. Or crises are uh, the number one way they can get people to do what they say because fear is a powerful motivator. Um, and then when it turns out that their um, crises are sort of overblown or overhyped or just flat out wrong, they have a new one ready to go. Another one ready to go, crisis after crisis. Yes. Pandemic was an opportunity. I think all over the world, people realize how important health was. How now do we take that in? They say the pandemic was an opportunity. What an abomination. Because they rejoice in the crisis. They rejoice in this crisis and the distractions. They rejoice. They bring a crisis and they bring a solution. There are men among us in responsible positions who order that the opinions of few considered philosophers, so-called, are more to be trusted than the truth of the Bible. Well, it's Elijah. They go to the gods of Ekron. They trust in the opinions of philosophers and the testimonies of the spirit they reject. The truth of the Bible they reject by American Digital ID in Africa. This week, our SIM cards reactivated refugee privacy concerns and persistence 19. Uh -huh. And those who do not follow their breathing of the world, uh, they call them extreme, extremist fundamentalists, and they are getting squad mechanisms. What are the mechanisms you don't see? SIM cards, digital ID, biometric, these are the squads they are using biometric. Very soon we will not be able to power cell. Get out of the city is the message of this time. Get out of the city. There is a battle coming, friend. A great battle. A spiritual battle is coming. It's over the commandments of God and the commandments of men. The Bible marriage or the marriage which the devil has given them. For they hate so much. They hate so much the principle of God. They hate the Sabbath of the Lord. They are giving a Sunday an idol Sabbath, which is not after God's order. An idol marriage. I'm sexual and gay, man, or such like. Oh, friend, a Sabbath for the earth, an abomination. This is an idol Sabbath of the papacy, and it's a very dangerous. God has shown me that uh, these men who are following after the war are hazards to prove a scourge to our people. They are wise above what is written. These are the belief of the very truth of God's word, because human judgment cannot comprehend the mysteries of his work. It's found in every district in our ranks, in all the ranks of society. Even our ministers, it is taught in most of our schools, and comes in the lessons of the nurseries. Climate change, Nazarees, they were teaching about climate change. Did you know what they were teaching the pandemic? Oh, friend, I've covered that again and again. What were they teaching? It's become clear that people in this country and globally mm. have been steamrolled. It is in this country and globally, in every district, in our ranks of society, it is taught in most of our schools and comes in the lessons of the nurseries. Thousands who profess to be Christians give heed to lying spirits. Aha! Ever the spirit of darkness in the gap of religion eclipses. We confront you and eclipses everywhere. It's clear that it has been coordinated globally. Mm. It is also clear that it has been integrated, not just over six months, not just over two and a half years, mm. but it has been planned over decades. Mm. The changes to legislation in this country were done so that they could control doctors and people. Control the people, control the mind, control the conscience. Uh -huh. I repeat to the general conference is pro vaccine propaganda. Uh -huh. Who are they for? For Francis calls specialist 19 vaccination a moral obligation. What who peace pass are spreading the good news about the specialist 19 Japan uh, vaccines? Who are they following largest ever group of study of specialist 19 jabs and shots? Small but real thing, neurological pride, at rated problems. There was neurological problem, blood and heart rated. Many have perished. Men have fallen down and men have died. And it will continue. Repent. Repent. Who are you following? You followed many's opinion. Blessings by way of medicine. These pastors preach persons landing jabs as God is healing power. Abomination. What is happening? Person landing jabs rings to threat increase in art in art and brain disorders. Art and a brain disorder study shows why the church theologian needs past, past theologians. Uh -huh. 
when there is so great reluctance to confess a wrong which is laid open and plain before the airing, it shows that they are controlled by their own untamable and sanctified natures rather than by the spirit of the gospel of Christ, who have they been following the papacy, the invasion, and habitation of devils, friend, habitation of devils. The temple must be cleansed again. The days are fast approaching when there will be great perfection and confusion in the land. Those who have rendered supreme homage to science for series so called will not be read as them. Those who have trusted in intellect, genius, or talent will not tend stand at the head of rank and fire. They do not keep pace with the light. Those who have proved themselves unfaithful will not then be entrusted with the flock. Surely, surely, these things have been fulfilled in our time. They have been following the merchants and the sorcerers of the earth, the gods of Akron, friend, for so long. The Lord can do nothing with the, uh, without the aid or cooperation of these men. He does not need their acknowledgement and is not really hindered by their objections and resistance, for God will work just the same. But some are influenced by their example, and they themselves are losing much, because they have not a teachable spirit. Brother, oh, are the self-sufficient, and the not is great poverty. You are cold. You should be warm, friend, loud care. Who is a wise man and embodied with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness or wisdom. But if you have Peter anything and thrive in your ass, grow not, I lie not against the truth. This wisdom descended not from above, but it's artery, sensual, devilish. For where anything and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is fast pure. That the peaceful, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy, and the fruits of righteousness is sown in the peace of, of that of that make peace. So which seed do we need? The seed of heaven, the spirit from heaven, which brings healing to with wings, friend. Where's Elijah? Elijah will bring healing. The Lord will come with the healing. Yes. The spirit of Elijah will bring healing. The spirit of Elijah brings help. Yes, healing. Those who are perishing, it not only heals the people of Jerusalem, it goes to Samaria. It goes and finds people like Haman. It brings healing to Ammon. Not Ammon, Nahaman, sorry. It heals Nahaman and even the nations are far off. Yes, that is the spirit from heaven which is gentle, peaceable, full of mercy. The Holy Ghost, friend. Yes, it brings healing. Not to these men who are looking to their high priest, at the high priest. Abomination. These people who are controlling our mind, they want to bring microchips, like in the Shandamic, to control our conscience, our bodies, which is the temple of God. They have gone so far. They look to the world as sacred gift. They don't know that God is saying, Arise, depart. This is not a rest. This is not a, it will be destroyed. This is a result for fire. It's not sacred. Let's go on, friend. This is the deception of the papacy. Who is elevating evolution above the creation doctrine? The voice of God. They say one earth, one family, one future. As the world looks at India for leadership, our new daily should set its course. Whose doctrine is, is the papacy's teaching? They are following that the earth is sacred. It's never sacred, friend. This is spiritual sin, friend. And be not confirmed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing, of, the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that which is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Look to heaven, friend. Look to God. Look to God, friend. Not to men. Look to God. Look to God, friend. If Christ should come in contact with these objections, he would not say, he would say to them, if Christ wish should come in contact with these objections, he will say to them, as he said to Nicodemus, John 3, 7, You must be born again. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. You must be born and breathing the atmosphere of, of heaven. An entire surrender of the will of God, uh, the entire surrender of the will to God, repentance, repent, repent is the message of Elijah. Repent, faith and reception of Christ in the spirit of a little child will ever bring freedom, light, blessing, and peace to the soul. Repent is the message of Elijah. Repent. Repent. But people are waking, and it's thanks to people like Dr. Repent. Altman and all the presenters here today, thanks to people like Senator Babette and Craig Kelly, 
We it is because people are working that's why the so-called crisis went away it's because people are working but our leaders they were not working they were oppressive many of them were oppressive in the pandemic they gave up god says we should not cease congregating they ceased congregating they discarded the voice of god where is the voice of a little child? And now they are continuing with the crisis of the pandemic so-called. And they are marginalizing us in every set. Where men are sleeping, Satan is actively arranging matters so that the Lord's people may not have mercy or justice. Kill this cause, biometric digital IDs, surveillance everywhere, like in the pandemic. So you would have it in the time of crisis of climate change so called they are bringing an idol sabbath they are bringing calamities earthquakes everywhere because they want us to surrender these people they have started they bring artificial solar eclipse they bring artificial earthquakes they bring it they produce them they make them because they want you to surrender for common good public interest they are they enforce it quickly how do they say they will do it they will do it quickly yes enforce it quickly Yes, do you know how they will do it? They will enforce it quickly. Let me tell you how they will enforce it quickly. Like in China, they bring a crisis and they enforce it quickly. Uh huh. There is something. We're living under an oligarchy. The thing to want is a system like they have in China. Bill Gates praised the CCP's pandemic response. Uh -huh. Klaus Schwab will say the CCP has a great ability to mobilize, you know, and, th and that's really a euphemism. They, br they bring a crisis, they mobilize it quickly. Barack Obama said these words. I detected it quickly, I read it quickly, and I read it quickly. They detect us. It is us. Pope Francis said fundamentalists are a break. They are a break. They are a disease. They detect it as quickly. They call us a disease. They isolate us quickly. They annihilate us quickly. Do you see what the devil is speaking? Authoritarian control over the population. Your mind, where is it? Where is the population agenda? Where is your mind? It is you. But God wants you to be free because he has revealed these things to us. These things, they have an, these people have an evil agenda, friend. Be wise. Be wise, friend. Authoritarian uh, control over its population. Or crises are uh, the number one way they can get people to do what they say because fear is a powerful motivator. Um, and then when it turns out that their um, crises are sort of overblown or overhyped or just flat out wrong, they have a new one ready to go. They have a new one ready to go, friend. They rejoice in a crisis. They rejoice in a crisis. Be wise, my brother. Be wise, my sister. Be wise. No. And we knew that this is all bullshit and that we've been had. But we are going to hound you down, the people that are guilty. We are going to hound you down and hold you accountable. And we will expose your global agenda so that the people of Australia can be free in the future. Because I love my kids. I'm looking forward to my grandkids. And we are going to save this country. We must save this country. Elijah, you must save the people. Elijah, the voice of stand rebuke must go to the Pharisees. Repent. The axe has been laid. You are following the papacy. You are following the principles of this world. People are perishing. Of whom my man is overcome, of the same we see proto bondage. Whose, whose part are they following the government this project, making faith the government this job? They have been doing it, they have been surrendering all things to the government. Things which are of God, they are surrendering to Caesar, very, very dangerous. Adventist Environmental Preservation Drive, our leaders, you have been driving us to, uh, uh, to where? Very bad. The artificial solar eclipse, it is at the period of their souls that they refuse the light. So, Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6, God asked Elijah of this time, God asked John the Baptist of this time, who lift up the panna and carry it on. God asked Stephen of this time, who will stand, though Saul is standing on his way and many behind him, regions, 
Isaiah 26, 2 verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy words, O Jerusalem. We shall never hold their peace, day nor night. You that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Keep not silence. When in meeting of a council, you should be under the influence of the Spirit of God. You should be ready to advance along the line. Uh -huh. Keeping step with the soldiers of uh, Christ. God are soldiers here. Are you awake? Will you let others carry the Lord and then seek to hinder them to the extent of your purity? Being a conference, being leaders, being elders. Who told you to be the head? God has to go to the ants, land of them. They don't have a guide. They don't have a ruler. The only ruler they have uh, is the objective ahead of them which the Lord has commanded us. Let the truth have with this molding, fashioning power upon your life and the character so that it can lead to people to the world. Do not be following evolution, which is the popist teachings, which you have been following for so long. Evolution. The God is not in their thoughts. God is not in their minds. The women of, type of my people have you cast out from their pleasant houses. You think you are doing God a service? You are casting God's people out of their houses. From their children have you taken away my glory forever? You are casting us out. Coming in the name of peace, you are casting us out. Out. Na Darwinism and the Nazi race or caste, you don't know what they are doing. They are calling us a disease, a threat. Fundamentalists, they call us a threat. What are they doing? They want to remove us. Darwinism list surplus removal of the darkest. They want to annihilate us, remove us. They want Darwinism through a Chinese lens. What was happening in China? Enforcement annihilate them quickly. There is danger before us. Religions must root out fundamentalism. God is speaking, yet our leaders cannot see. God is speaking to us that there is a danger on the horizon, yet people cannot understand it. They cannot understand that people are condemning evangelical fundamentalists, so-called. Those who are we, they call us a threat, a disease, a break. Friend, very dangerous. God is what has given warning of the impending danger about Romanism. Let this be unheeded, and the Protestant world will learn what the purpose of Rome really are. Only when it's too late to escape the snare, she is silently growing into power. Revelation 17 says that she will come back. Uh-huh. Our doctrines are exciting to any friends in the legislative halls, in the churches, and the ask of men. The name of public interest, common good, for the sake of many expedient for us when I read this Jesus Christ, for the sake of the peace of our nation. Oh, friend, at the meeting at Minneapolis at Potavir and at Pato Greek, Pato Greek, I present general principle before you, hoping that you might hear, be impressed, and be converted, that I might not be under the painful necessity of addressing you personally. But as you have had the privilege of hearing the message which God has given me and others to peer, and yet your doubts and unbelief have been strengthening instead of diminishing, I am alarmed for you. I know you and others in a similar position are not in the light. You are on the enemy's ground and gentle ground. Both of you are placing yourself where the Spirit of God can no more find access to your hearts than each could find access to the hearts of the Jewish people, of the Jewish people when they give themselves up to unbelief. The angels of God are ascending and descending upon the mystic ladder. Through Christ, light is shining to man. Heaven is connected with earth, and the angels of God are ascending and descending upon the mystic ladder. Will they find you ready to use you? Or will they find you, you are a sin papro? <laughs> God is using his angels, his spirit in this time. Whose part, whose frame are you using? Are you fishing with the Pope? Are you fishing with Jesus Christ? Who are you fishing with in such a time like this? The chariots of fire are coming. Which chariots will you be following? Don't you see? They are calling us that we are disinforming the world. Don't you understand? Who are you fishing with in such a time like this? Be wise, my brother. Be wise, my sister. What are they doing in China? In China, they are closing churches, jailing pastors, and even writing scripture. Whose part are they following? Tourists brave uh, torturous temperatures to see flaming mountains. Where? In China. Tourists brave torturous temperatures to see flaming mountains. What mountains are they going to look? The artery mountains? I look to the mountains. 
I look to, but where does my herb come from? My herbs come from heaven, not to the mountains. Look to heaven, oh people in China. Look to men, don't look to men, for mountains represents men. You are looking to the sons of the sea. You are looking to men. Look to God of heaven, and God will save you. Look to God, friend. Look to God. They bring messages of warning, reproof, instruction, encouragement, and love. Look to this, we who bring this message of warning. This is the warning. This is a reproof. This is instruction to you. This is also encouragement. This is the love of God that we speak it to you. The glory of God is above the ladder and the shining down all its length. God would not devise some new way to reach the hearts of those who have shut themselves away from the light. God is speaking to our leaders, our elders. Uh -huh, to our leaders. It is at the period of their souls that they refuse the light. Receive this message of this time, friend. Do not be following your purpose as your good shepherd. For Francis, a shepherd building a church for the poor. What is this? So called shepherd of this time giving the word a Sabbath, an idol Sabbath, a challenge, a Sabbath for the earth and the poor, the challenge of Francis. This is, an, this is a wrong shepherd. Jesus Christ is a good shepherd. Who are they following as their shepherd? The Papa C, who is sitting in the temple of God, calling himself that is God. The purpose that the protesters are now ready to honor is the same that ruled the world in the days of the Reformation when men of God stood up at the period of their lives to expose our iniquity. How is it your foreign pack? Backwards, and they said that the wound was healed, and all the world wandered after the peace. Revelation 13, verse 3. Awake, and who is the, his man in his right hand? Trump, Trump, temple coins that changed the world. Who are they reverting? The calling to Trump has kept his end of the again. Can an evangelist go dance with the devil and not get panned? But Francis is dancing with the devil. Who are they dancing with? The purpose confused about about listen to uh, uh to the good shepherd Pope Francis advises who is this calling himself the good shepherd? Let's see Pope Francis a good shepherd building a church for the poor. Who is that good shepherd? The purpose rapids praise pop. Who are they praising man? Oh art 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 hear the voice of the Lord. Would the Catholic Church be false church in the end times? Don't you see? And times Jewish and, and Gentile reunion is a vice to God's plan. Who is calling this a wrong friend? They think so. They have been following for so long. Opinion at the end times. America, evangelical Christianity, and Israel's occupation to Palestine. Where is the mind? They want to build a third temple in Jerusalem. I've covered that one. They know not the purpose was the middle of the world. It's the Protestant. The old scripture were almost unknown. Not only to the people, but to the priest. She has clothed herself in Christ like garments, but she has she is unchanged. But our leaders have been following this path for so long. Darkness has covered the earth. And an eclipse. Darwin Evolution Family and the Godhead. Cast in the lot among us, let's have one past. These have one mind to the papacy friend. The three Abrahamic family house reside for directing the faith. We cannot join this movement. Government should have only one religion. What is the agenda regulating us? This is artificial eclipse, artificial light. Whose eclipse are they, whose light are they following? Laudate C, which they call a gospel and violent teachings of Rome. They say that that is a gospel and violent. So they say the word of God is a violent. So what are they saying? They are the faith. They are our messages. We cannot unite with you. We cannot unite with you. Brother Mira, you have encased yourself in an armor of an imperial and spiritual pride. All leaders, elders, many leaders have been following this path for so long. Get out of it. The king of glory appeared in the form of a servant, clothed in the garb of humanity. Uh-huh. When he began his public ministry in Nazareth, there was a sad and terrible exhibition of what human nature can and will be when Satan works on the earth. Jesus proclaimed himself to be the anointed one. No man, we are saying the voice of Elijah is here also, but do they hear? Jesus proclaimed himself to be the anointed one. No man had before ventures to assume as much, not as much, not the a uh, learned or noble of the earth, not even the prophets or kings. He arose in the synagogue and read from the prophet Isaiah these gracious words. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to hear the broken hearted. 
to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Luke chapter 4 verse 18 to 19. So the eyes of all in the synagogue were fascinated or were fasted upon him for divinity flashing through humanity. And with one voice they witnessed to the gracious words that proceeded from his lips. God has spoken to their hearts and given them a testimony which they acknowledged to be the truth. Which they acknowledged to be the truth. But soon doubts and unbelief arose. People have indeed have not they have known the signs of the times, but an believe doubts that an believe arose. Who was this that claimed to be the Messiah? Who is this claiming to be Elijah? Who is this claiming to be John the Baptist? They did not accept Christ to what? To come in this way. His family. They did not accept, they did not what? They did not expect Christ to come in this way. They did not accept, expect Elijah to come in this way. His family connections were humble. His family, pious people, but not distinguished for riches, learning. Uh, they are learning, they are learned, not learning, rank or power. The Jews expected the Messiah to come with pomp and ceremony as a great king. They looked for him to appear as a conqueror, to deliver Israel from the Roman yoke. You will not see slavery. Slavery is everywhere. The Roman yoke. Romanism of all is rising again, friend. Don't you see? We have covered this. What is it? Romanism. The bureaucrats. The bureaucrats centralists in Brussels are addicted to power. They use or they abuse every crisis. Financial crisis, COVID crisis, Ukraine crisis, energy crisis. And the solution is always the same. And the professor already said it, the more European Union. More European Union. This is the yoke. This is the Roman yoke in this time. Get the scores. Cap on, cap on what? Footprints and all that. Cap on what? Uh, that, that cap on scores. Things which they are paying for forces, so called. Get the scores, friend, and the cap on, cap on what? I will get it. Uh -huh. This is, a, this is a not liberty. They thought they would be able to cry. This is the king that will reign on David's throne. But this man who made the claim that he was the anointed one of God was from the humble works of life. The son of Joseph and Mary. He ca this cannot be Jesus. This they said. This cannot be Elijah of this time. Who God was to send before the terrible day. They had seen him going up and down the hills. They had seen him toiling daily at the carpenter's bench. And could he be the Messiah? The very humiliation which Christ Paul was foretold in the scriptures as a specification of his divine character and mission, and should have commended him to every home and art in the land. But to the proud and believing Jews, his humility was an offense. They don't accept the Elijah's message, his humility, humble background, uh, living in the wilderness, and humble life. It was an offense to, to them. They cannot accept this. The men, of, the men of Nazareth, they want somebody who has gone to school. Someone who has gone to university schools to learn it. But these people learned Elijah, Jesus. They learned in the school of God. If there's no crisis, and that's the second point, if there's no crisis, they create a crisis. For example, climate change. Climate change. There is no liberty here. Yet the people, they don't see a way out. They don't see a way out. The men of Nazareth refused the Prince of Life. Also, they would re reject even John the Baptist in this time. They would reject Elijah. They would not work in, together with Elijah to eradicate Jezebel. To eradicate Jezebel church with our 450 churches, our religions. To eradicate what? They cannot work together with Elijah to eradicate what? To eradicate Ahab, his principles, the power of God which has steered their hearts as he read and expounded to them the scriptures was resisted and their passions were steered as he spoke truths that they revealed to them their real condition. The lips that had so recently acknowledged and blessed him now uttered curses and with their fury of demons 
they laid hands on them so at first these people were praising and saying god oh it is good but later on they were uttering curses to jesus and with the fear of demons they laid hands on him and dragged him from the synagogue so it was in the time of who the time of who stephen Stephen was dragged out. These people were free of demons. They laid hands on him and dragged him from the synagogue out of the city, thinking they were doing God a service, and told to trust him over the pro of the hill, because they say, this man, we know him. He has not gone to any school. This man has not gone to any school. What about when God will send us Elijah of this time? You have not gone to any school. Mm, you have not gone to any school. Who will listen to you? They told to trust him over the pro of the heath. Friend, even so it is this time. Would they receive the message of this time coming to us? The scroll has been opened. The lion has but, but rod. Who cannot but reason? He cried with a loud voice as a lion rod. The voice is coming. Uh, is a prophecy. The lion and rod. Who can but prophesy? We are prophesying this time. Would they listen that the time is like, like this time? I go fishing. Who are you fishing with? Are you fishing with the Papa or are you fishing with Jesus Christ? Oh friend, choose you. But the angels of God protected him and hid him from the side of the infiltrated throng and he passed on his way unnoticed. We will pass, they could not notice. The light is shining here and there, they could not notice it. The, name, the men of Nazareth did certain his work, but Jesus could not give them up without granting them another opportunity for salvation. Another opportunity is being given to the churches. Will they hear? After his fame has uh, spread through the country to every region, every region, as they had time for prejudice to subside and reason to take control of their minds, he came again to test them that they might redeem their past rejection of him. Did they receive it? They have been receiving artificial eclipses. They are receiving artificial glooms, artificial messages from men but not the voice of God. Artificial intelligence advances fear, fear industry trying to preserve loved ones after death. Uh -huh. Satellite Pope Francis words launches into space, so whose words are, is the word bringing Pope's teachings? Pope Francis called for a new economic model to be re repealed post pestilence 19 while here appears more human on social media than actual humans. So who are they looking to? To men for solutions. This giant twisting serpent skeleton emerging from the sea is Francis' most unique scripture. What is this emerging? What's, what's the doctrine is this? Roman seem in the old world and apostate processor in the new world. What is a spasso? Imagine a similar cause. Imagine a similar cause towards those who honor all the divine process, like in the days of old. And he said unto her, What form is he of? And she said, And an old man emerges, comes up. The old principles of Rome, the old ways, is imagining he is covered with a mantle. Who is covered with a mantle? He is a, seer, he is a priest. So there is a counterfeit high priest. The Papa sees a counterfeit high priest for the art, sacred art. And the sword. This is the, this is America. This is a king who has rejected and is following an, an arrow to Guman. The gods of Ekron. An arrow to Guman, friend. And a dead woman. And he perceived that it was Samuel. Why is he perceiving that it is Samuel? Because he cannot use the word of God. He cannot use the constitution and the sea. This is against. These are the principles of Rome of old. They are taking away our conscience of liberty. Which doctrine is this arising, coming up, emerging from beneath? Where his face they cannot behold the sun. Look to Jesus, the sun. There is an eclipse. There is an eclipse, or oh America, or oh Adventists, or oh Churches, an eclipse, a form of Godness, an eclipse. Rome is rising, an eclipse. Behold the high priest in heaven. That's your high priest, not the purpose, the son of addition. Who will you follow? This is wisdom, not from above, but from beneath, and it is devilish, sensual, artery. And the woman sent to own to Saul. And Rome said to America, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. Gods? Oh, America! America! A command was presented before me under the name of 70 day Adventists who are devising. Okay, they have changed the panel. 
the panda if the panda was standing straight forward in the time of the eclipse the panda was having a uh, the earth and the three angels running around they would have understood what the message of the eclipse is this time an eclipse an eclipse this is distinctive panda they say they should not be born to the world they have eaten our colors brought the trumpet in zion sang fire fast joy to us a trumpet the trumpet the certain sound throw brought the trumpet elijah brought the trumpet the axe has been laid down the trumpet, they are changed our logo, our trademarks, they are changed our logo, friend. Twitter blue pad changed, changed from as music say X logo is here. There is a change, a change has come, but not in, in the a change has not come in Romans in his principles, but a change has come, a falling away fast, and the man of sin has been revealed. A change has come in the Protestantism. They have changed, they are saying we must be in the umbrella charges. We must follow the umbrella our logos and the churches. We must follow as the world is moving. We follow that part. But our logo goes to the ends of the world. And the eclipse. Our leaders, their lords, men and gods, many, they have become our guides. They have become our masters. Oh, go to the ants. They don't have a ruler. They don't have a guide. Be wise. Go forward. There has been a change, but the change is not in the purpose. Great controversy, page 571, paragraph 3. Some remove the landmarks, the virus, they take away the flocks and feed their own. They have destroyed us. They are murdering with the world. Oh, friend, be wise. Jesus had given the people of Nazareth clear and distinct evidence that his mission was just what he had claimed to be. Will they not re retrace their steps? We have been given them the message. Cannot they see that this is the message of Elijah? With such tokens of these truths before them with these blind leaders of the blind fanatical men see in jesus nothing more than the capital of nazareth the son of mary at the beginning of his ministry they had taken their first steps in the rejection of christ they had committed themselves to the work and the will of satan and their pride was so strong their prejudice is so great that at his second call they will not acknowledge him as the messiah they cannot acknowledge this message as the message of who of elijah also although they will say that we have not gone to school although they are the most convincing proof of his divinity although they have the con convincing truth that we this is the voice of elijah which wants to gather god's people they cannot acknowledge it they will say you are not going to school we know your family we know your background Oh, what will not oh, what will not pride and believe and prejudice lead men to do? And believe pride like the devil and believe prejudice lead men to do. Covering every path. Pharmacia in the Bible and Greek pharmacia could mean magic, sorcery, witchcraft, enchantment, drugs, or medication. This is used in Revelation 18, Exodus, uh, Galatians, Atheist, this, uh -huh, magic, sorcery. This is the wood. Is this who is coming down from the ground? Saul said that one. This must be God speaking to us. God speaking. I covered a message area on about. I covered my friend a message about this message. Please. God is coming from the earth. What did you see? The sun coming from, from the earth. God is coming from the earth. Just go start this message. I covered it under the message. Leave the trumpet. And the trumpet must give a certain sound. Please go listen to this message because it's essential. Is this God's coming from the earth? Light coming from the earth? No, friend. This is abomination. We are pressing on to the final convict. It's no time to compromise. It's no time to hide your caras or adventists. The part of which is so. Let no one turn a traitor. It's no time to lay down or consider our weapons, our caras, our logo to give certain what? To give Satan uh, uh, the opportunity. But unless you watch and keep your garments unspotted from the world, you will not stand true to your captain. You have chosen the purpose as your captain, Numbers 14, verses uh, 4. Oh, friends, awake, it's no time to, for watching to slumber. Call for your fellow watchmen crying, the morning coming, and also the night. Awake, it's no time to relax our efforts. Awake, awake, trust the science, is the mantra of the pestilence and anti-crisis but what about human fire spirit okay uh -huh. they have been following the puppet for so long i don't have time to cover this because of the matter of the whole of the very favored harad rome 
with our 450 false prophets, the mistress of our witchcraft. This is the one who is dating Saul. Uh -huh. The goddess of Ekron, the mistress of witchcraft, that said nations through our whoredoms and families through our witchcraft. Nahum 3 verses 4, or Revelation chapter 18, the Lord has shown and that we are in just as much in danger our days as were the people on the days of Christ. The Lord is speaking through Isa delegated messages. Elijah, by the same unbelief is exhibited. Men close their hearts against Jesus and hold themselves in the various bondage to Satan, supposing their dignity as free men, that they are maintaining their right to act and think for themselves, to believe or doubt. Unlike the despisers of the gospel in the apostolic times, they want and perish. They want to perish. Acts chapter 3 verse 41, Behold you despisers and want and perish, for I walk a walk in your days, a walk you sh which you shall no wise believe, though a man decreate unto you. Those who on special occasions of controversy have taken a course similar to that of the men of Nazareth will, it, will do what? Should take of Nazareth, should take heed lest they follow their example when a second opportunity is given to accept the gracious light of truth. After the first rejection, when excitement and confusion are over, you may again be called upon by the divine messenger and you should be aware lest you harden your hearts in prejudice and pride and in the example of unbelief, in the final rejection of the message that will work for your salvation, you may encase yourself in pride and continue to reject Christ in the person of his messengers. If you do this, the words of the apostle will find an application in your case. As in the time of the Jews, John chapter 1 verse 11 to 12, he came to his own and his own received him not. This is the message. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, said Jesus Christ. John chapter 5 verse 43. I came in my father's name, and you received me, me not. But if the purpose came in the name of the devil, the son of perdition, if another shall come in his own name, him you receive the son of perdition. Oh, abomination. Pope Francis' Catholic social teaching as useful principle for popular movement to follow. Catholic manifest movement, who are they following the voice in the, in, the, in the UN? Pope Francis, the chaplain of the UN? Pope Francis could not travel to the UN, but his voice did. Who are they following? Pope Francis is teaching social doctrines. This is what China is following, the Chinese social doctrines. In China, they are taking away the Bibles because the Bibles are exposing wherever the divine presence are rejected, sin ceases to appear sinful or righteousness is desirable. Those who refuse to submit to the government of God are holy and fitted to govern themselves. Through their pernicious teachings, the spirit of, spirit of insubordination is implanted in the hearts of children and youths who are naturally impatient of control and lawless. Righteousness and state of society results, the, the same things have been practice in France in the principles of Rome this is what has been practiced in Baltimore Baltimore shooting or that reminds me okay of the Baltimore massacre okay friend for God not men those who teach the people to rightly disregard the commandments of God show disobedience and they reap disobedience friend I don't have time to cover this we are less excusable than what the Jews for we have before us, their example of rejection of Christ and his apostles, and we have been warned not to fall after the same example of unbelief. Throughout the history of the church, in all ages, and especially in that of the Seventh day Adventists, we have examples of those who refused the light sent uh, them by his chosen agents. They have had opportunities and privileges that should have enabled their faith to resist, to rest on God, and yet they have revealed the art of unbelief. Their course has been similar to that of Pharaoh. The light that God sent to the king of Egypt was shunned and rejected by him. He stopped on earth, caused him to praise himself against light. My brethren, the Lord is not pleased to have us settled down in unbelief and question and quibble over matters of truth as you have done. It is indeed human to error, and the voices often make mistakes, but it is noble to confess error and not encroach the art to prejudice, to make yourself and others believe you, to make, uh, to make yourself and others believe you, 
have pursued a righteous, righteousness, you reject Christ by rejecting the message he sends. In no so doing, you place yourself under the control of the prince of darkness. Let not people look to you. Let them look to Jesus. Do not eclipse, do not be leaders many and God's many before God is people. Your spiritual discernment has been planted. God has sent message, messages of light to his people which should have been as healing palm and uh, had they received them. But you did not do this. Like uh, the men of Nazareth, you set yourself to refuse the light. You exerted your own opinions and judgment as more valuable than the judgment of those whom God has made channels of light. You became Lord's many. You go to the ants, learn, they don't have guides, they don't have rulers. This course has brought you where you, your faith has become confused because you stood as Lord's many and uh, you have been misdirecting the world. You have been following the purpose for so long, his teachings, evolution and creation, uh, teaching, the evolution teachings of Rome, climate change. For so long, you have been in Papron. For so long, you have been bewitched by the men, by this sorcerer of this city. For so long, you have been bewitched by the sorcerer of this city. For so long, when will you come to your senses? When will you come out of China, out of the land of Papron? When will you become to your senses, brethren? The sweet subduing love of god has not characterized your lepers you have presented dry theories or doctrines which are not productive of fruits you will be satisfied with the present senders launching an exposition of what is truth but remain dry and speechless you have been coming into discourses in camp meetings discourses which you are presenting rather than allowing elijah to hear as he hears, he presents that message. As he hears the message, he presents it. You don't want that one. You want to bring your dry discourses, uh, which you bring to conferences, uh, which you come bring come meetings, which you are applying letters you say this and that, without allowing people to listen from God and present the message as it is. You have been sending your doctrines to us when you receive the words of Christ as he if they were addressed to you personally when each applies the truth to himself as if he were the own sinner on the face of the earth for whom Christ died you will learn to claim by faith the merits of the blood of a crucified and risen savior in your own case your richest experience will have a different mold from what it now has if you listen to Jesus Christ Pharisees will not then exist you will think it the highest no honor to lift out Jesus before the people uh, before the people saying behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world so look to Jesus friend not men the message you peer, the efforts you make in the work, do not now rightly represent Christ. Jesus is not now lifted up by you as the supreme object of thoughts, as the one who can draw away men to himself. You are thinking that your discourses, your manner, your attitude, your voice, your language, your thoughts will represent Jesus. No, friend. Friend, look to Jesus. You must teach those who, uh, those whom God we we must teach those for whom we labor, that they must hear, obey, and follow Christ. Not your discourses, they are speechless. Hear, obey, and follow. That is the voice of Elijah. That is the voice of Jesus Christ. He heard, he obeyed, he followed. Not your discourses. You need not wait for a great occasion to do this, for a special occasion. Follow Jesus' example. You need not ask for greater purity. Or you need to is to hide in Jesus. Not, not you to be seen. May Jesus be seen. That your works may be wrought in God. If you do this, your work will not be merely mechanical, but it will have life and power in your discourses. And will arouse and vivify. You will tear the story of Christ from a heart softened by his love and symbol of faith, not from your discourses. As a little child tells it, it is trials and sorrows it is to, to its mother. So the child of God will go to his heavenly father, never doubting the reality of his love to tell him of all his grief and joys. Learn of me, says the divine teacher, for your meek and roll in earth, and the promise is positive. You shall find rest unto your source. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Oh, that all who are in any way connected with the work of God were endowed with heavenly wisdom, that they might reveal the fact that they have learned in the school of Christ. Have you learned the school of Christ? 
we have been learning the school of Christ. Do you hear these messages which have been coming to us? Do you see that freedom is at stake? And we are telling you the way of salvation. Existential threat. And the solution is the Green Deal. So threat. And they call it an existential threat. And the solution is the Green Deal. The Green Deal destroyed our energy system. It is destroying our food system. Um, they are trying to control CO2, but if you control CO2, CO2, you, 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 you control people because everything we do in life is about CO2 emissions, living, breathing, eating, traveling, living. So if you can control that, you can control people's lives. Now they introduce the digital identity and the central bank digital currency. So they can see everything we do and they can control everything um, we do because they can shut off, shut off our, uh, our financial system whenever they want. We have seen it already in Canada during the... Credit scores, carbon footprints, if ever man who has entered the ministry of God depended upon the Lord and not upon serve, not upon men, not upon conferences, not upon human opinions. The power of God would attend the efforts like Elijah of his servants and great good would be accomplished. You will not go to the God's of Ekron. Those who labor in word and doctrine must be men who search the scriptures daily, who pray honestly and constantly for divine enlightenment if the ministers will individually hang their helpless souls upon christ there will be much more moisture in their discourses those who to a large degree give evidence of being dry and fruitless should realize that the reason for this is found in the fact that they are not connected with christ to understand the signs of the times men are protesting in an, even in the parliaments Yet our leaders cannot see eye to eye to let the people the signs of the times. They are listening to men rather than following the signs of the times. They follow the, their heart, the deep ditch, Rome. Who is the heart? The Arab woman. Proverbs 23 verse 27 and Revelation chapter 17 verse 5 says who is the heart? This strange woman, mistress of witchcraft, is Rome, friend. Who says, uh, receive the jobs? Faith leaders spread the word. Yes, the job. This pastor is spreading the uh, good news about the job. A person is in job. Pope calls for Christians to spread the word. Who has they been following for so long? The papacy. Not Jesus. No, this is not, not my Jesus. They are not following Jesus. And many people are perishing. And many are perishing even today. The aftershocks. The aftershocks of the pandemic. People are perishing. The aftershocks. The aftershocks. The aftershocks of the pandemic, the aftershocks of uh, what? The aftershocks of the earthquake, Pope pursues and vaxxers. The aftershocks, we have the aftershocks in this time. They are pursuing us, they are pursuing Elijah. Ahab is pursuing Elijah, he says, give us your heart, give us your soil, give us your concerns, we plant our seed. But God is saying, hear from me and plant my seed. The seed, the war is after the seed of God. Hunger Games. Hunger Games is the war after the seed of God. And the dragon was what wrote to the woman and went to make war with the remnant of our seed. The seed of the woman. The seed. The war after is the seed of God. While Satan seeks to destroy those who honor God's law, he will cause them to be accused as law breakers, as men who are dishonored God and bring judgments and calamities upon the land. Upon the temple, they call, they are sending way. What? Soldiers on our part, they score us fundamentalists, a disease of our religions. They say, call us, they say we are fundamentalists, we are extreme. And they are following the Pope's word. These leaders, these people, they do not draw sap and nourishment from the living vine. And Christ says, John 15 verse 5, without me you can do nothing. Serif has been woven in the labors of many workers. But the true child of God will feel as did John the Baptist when he said, Speaking of Christ, John 3.30, it must increase, but I must decrease. But these people want to be seen as rulers. They want to be seen as guides. They want to go to the ants, you sluggard. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber. 
The lion is roaring. They cannot go outside. Go outside, for the Lord has spoken. Men fear that their faults of character make it impossible for them to meet the standard that Christ has erected. God says, go forward, but all that such ones have to do is to humble themselves at every step under the mighty hand of God. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Faith, friend, Christ does not estimate to man uh, the amount of work it does, but by the spirit in which the work is performed. By faith, this is the spirit, the spirit by which it is performed. You perform it by faith. Gross darkness has covered the people. Do not become calm within within us and our God. Don't be a pira. Don't be an eclipse between us and our God. Don't be an eclipse. When he sees men lifting the pardons, trying to carry them into the loneliness of mind, with distrust of self, and with reliance upon him, not upon rulers as their guys and their rulers, no, but in Jesus, he has to their work, his perfectional sufficiency, and it is accepted of uh, the Father. We are accepted in the beloved. The sin and sin defects are covered by the perfection and fullness of the Lord. Our righteousness. Those who with sincere will, with contrite heart, are putting forth humble efforts to live up to the requirements of God, are looked upon by the Father with pitying tender love. He regards such as obedient children, and the righteousness of Christ is imputed unto them. Serve must be kept hid in Jesus. Oh, if I could but set him forth before you, all oh, that our brethren would be proud to see the necessity of self crucifixion, then I would have hopes that they might not only use or only useful in this life but might attain unto the future immortal life. That I would present the attraction of Christ so as to engross the whole mind. To be the mind of Christ, all that my brethren may appreciate the promises of God in all their prayer and fullness and seize the signs of the times, then they might be saved from themselves, from self confidence, from criticism of the message of the Lord, from a on believer on the message of Elijah, the message of Elisha, that uh, tomorrow we shall have food. They could have confidence that tomorrow the Lord will present food, manna from heaven, the word of God through who? Through Elijah. To Elisha, then the sons of the prophets, they would not say there is death in the pot, but they would believe there is food in the pot for all the sons of the prophets. Then self exaltation would not be increasing so they can go and find a white vine, but they would find the vine, the true vine, and they would allow Christ to increase. There are men who claim to believe in Christ, who have not yet fallen upon the rock and been broken. Self lives and is exerted. To such Christ it does not appear what he is or what he will be to all those who believe on him. So allow Christ to be seen. Let Jesus be seen. Don't uh, allow the purpose to be seen. Don't be fishing with the purpose. Be fishing with Jesus Christ. Look to the mountains. Look to, not the mountains, but look to uh, where our help comes from. It comes from the Lord who dwells on high. Friend, angels are descending and ascending. They want to use us. They want to cooperate with us in the way of exerting man from his deep part where he is foreign. So we should know for ourselves what constitutes Christianity, what is truth, what is the faith that we have received, what are the Bible rules, the rules given us from the highest authority. There are men who believe without a reason on which to base their faith, without sufficient evidence as to the truth of the matter. If an idea is presented that harmonizes with their own preconceived opinions, they are all ready to accept it. They do not reason from cause to effect. Their faith has no genuine foundation. And the time of trial, they will find that they have pulled upon the sand rather than pulling upon the rock, Jesus Christ. Pull upon the rock, Jesus Christ. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, not in many's wisdom. We can have a complete conference about that too, but those two topics, um, it, it's used to create a centralized, controlled economy, and at the same time it's taking away people's freedom. We are heading to a big European superstate. They want to abolish the nation state because once that happens they have complete control. We are heading to a, what I call, a new kind of communism. And we are heading 
to a time of union of churches and states. We are coming to a time where, as I saw in India, re, re, un, unit of religions. They are uniting. We covered that message earlier on. Religion is coming together under this gap. One art, one family, one future is the message of this law. This is spiritualism, gathering everything together. A super state. We are heading to such a time. Yes, very, very dangerous. So, watchmen, what of the night? Watchman, what of the eclipse? Watchman, what of the eclipse? The morning comet and also the of the night. If you inquire, if you are asking for the message of this time, inquire. If you inquire, inquire thou where it's day, today. You who rest satisfied with his own present imperfect knowledge of the scriptures, thinking this sufficient for his salvation, is resting in a fatal deception. There are men who are not thoroughly furnished with scriptural arguments that they may be able to discern error and even the signs of the times and condemn all the traditional superstitions of men which they have dwelt so much that has been palmed of as truth. Satan has introduced his own ideas into the worship of God that the mighty uh, that he might corrupt the simplicity of the gospel of Christ. Uh, evolution, which the purpose has brought in ministers and even uh, other ways, a large number who claim to believe the present truth know not what constitutes the faith that was once delivered to the saints. They are all lukewarm and indifferent. They know not what it is to possess the real virtue of love and the faith. They are not uh, they are not Close Bible students, but are lazy and inattentive. They are lazy and inattentive. Yet a little sleep and more slumber. They follow the what? They are acting as rulers and guides. Go to the ants. They don't have a ruler or a guide. Uh -huh. They are lukewarm and indifferent, friend. They need to see and understand the signs of the times. They can are wise to understand about climate change, about the things of the world. They cannot understand the signs of the times. Yet the little sleep they are sleeping. Who can awaken these people? They cannot see an existential threat here. The threat is they say we the threat is annihilation of the Jews of this time, spiritual Jews. These people who what do they trust in? Thus the full sense of the present day, which undermines the faith in the Bible will prove us successful in preparing the way for existence of the papacy with these pleasing forms, a form of godness, pleasing forms, a form of somewhere coming from beneath. A form of priesthood, sacred art, care for the art, as did the withholding of knowledge, the opening of the ways for this aggrandizement in the dark ages. In China, what are they doing? Closing churches, jailing pastors. This is the principles of Rome. China is following the principles of Rome, common good agenda. This we have seen and covered. Where many Christians in China have turned to underground churches? Because the principles in China, they are enforcing and mobilizing doing away the Bible. These teachings are going from nation to nation uh, and it's taking away liberty. The papacy, uh -huh, the principles of uh, the dragon principles of uh, Egypt are permeating all the society where around. Roman Catholic principles will be taken under the care and protection of the state. This national post is speedily be followed by national reign. Who will you follow in such a time like this? Don't you see that liberty is at stake? Uh -huh. Don't you see that liberty is at stake? People from my country and also from the other Western countries will not recognize that because we, our generation was born in freedom. But you have seen communism and you, 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 you were able to, 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 to win that uh, to, uh, 30 years ago. So controversies of all are coming. So when, in div when different opinions arise upon the passage of scripture, these who have not studied to a purpose and are not decided as to what they believe fall away from the truth. We ought to impress upon all the necessary in inquiring diligently on into divine truth that they may know that they do know what is truth. Some claim much knowledge and feel satisfied with their condition. This is rather care. When they have no more zeal for the work, no more ardent love for God and for lost souls, 
for souls whom Christ died than if they had never known God. They do not read the Bible. They do not feel that it is the voice of God speaking to them. But if we could understand the way of salvation, if we could see the themes of the Son of Righteousness, we must study the Scriptures. For the Scriptures, for the promises and the prophecies of the Bible shed clear themes of glory upon the divine plan of redemption. They could tell us where we are when we are in this time of the eclipse. Friend, there is a total solar eclipse which is just before us. Will you listen to God? There is a total solar eclipse before us. Would you listen? Millions are in the eclipse. Many souls are perishing. Will you listen to this? Calamities are happening in the land. The devil is coming down like the time of a job, destroying God's people. Would you be wise in such a time like this? Would you be wise and understand the signs which you live? As the visual gumbo, at the visual solar eclipse, at the visual this and that, we know where these things are tending. They are calling for an idol Sabbath, for this is what is their agenda is. I know it because the Bible has told me what is to come. Uh -huh. The earth also is defined under the inhabitants therefore, because they have transgressed the laws, they have changed the ordinance, they have broken the everlasting covenant. This wisdom, which is from beneath, as you can see from those scriptures of that statues, you can see in this statue, you can see another thing. Uh, where I receipt? I covered it up here. Okay, where was it? I covered it up there where there was. Okay, it is here. Actually, in G20, this logo, you see the same what is here in this logo. G20. You see what? This is the moon. The moon god of India, the moon god. So this is moon, which is from beneath, is abomination, very great abomination. This is spiritual sim, spiritual sim, friend. I don't have time to cover this. The Lord is not glorified by your lack of spirituality, by your dry formalism. While your lepers have not been worthless, they have been exceedingly defective. All that your past Christian life could be opened before you, just as it has been. And you could see how angels look upon the work in all of these peerings, which has come forth from your hands. Be awakened. Do not follow the path you followed in the time past, which you have been following for so long. Be awakened and seek the Lord where he may be found. God has sent you a message which he wishes you to receive, a message of light and hope and comfort for the people of God, which says, Arise, depart, for this is not a rest, for it shall destroy you. It's not for you to choose. It's not for you to choose the channel through which the light shall come. The, light, the Lord desires to hear the wounds of his sheep and lambs through the heavenly palm of truth that Christ is our righteousness. Do not reject Elijah. Do not reject Jesus Christ. No. Men, uh, may God forbid that it shall be said of you, Ezekiel 4 verse 4, the deceased of you not strengthened in their calamities and given them liberty. Neither have you healed that which was sick, neither have you pound up that which was broken, because you are set aside for this task, to give liberty, to heal the broken hearted. Neither have you brought again that which was driven away when it was seeking liberty in the crisis. Neither have you sought that which was lost. The sheep that need to be fed are scattered upon the mountains of Israel. They are starving to death on dry theories. My brethren, you do not uh, fear the flock. You do not have faith. You do not have faith. Do you have faith? Do you really have faith? If you had faith, you would have stood for the people of God who are seeking faith in such a time like this. Faith. The epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Hebrews. Faith. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith Noah, being warned of God, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. O oh, readers, have you, have you pure an ark? Are you pin an ark? Can people who are who are looking for an ark for protection? They were looking for an ark in the pandemic. They are looking for an ark for ways to be saved in such a time of of uh, ever threats which are coming from the devil who has come down knowing his time is short, like in the time of uh, job. Have you sheltered God's people? 
Are you ready to share the God's people? Do you have faith in the promises and the prophecies which God has given to us? My brethren, you do not feed the flock. You do not have faith. You are like the Pharisees of all. Will you not repent? You do not have the love for souls which are being lost. The most sacred responsibility rests upon those who have accepted the position of shepherds to the flock of God, who are becoming guys and rulers. Go to the ants and learn how they act. You are to direct the people of God, but not to control. But if the professing ministers of Christ are not endowed with the power from on eye, they are not fit for the work of this time. But if the professing ministers of Christ are not endowed with the power from on eye, they are not fit for the work of this time. The work calls for men who have spiritual energy and the far seeing discernment. They have faith. They can look through the scriptures. Far seeing discernment. God sent light to his people that they may live in his light according to their privileges. There are many who feel satisfied with their mega attainments and they refuse the light that God sends them. They don't want extra light. They don't want the extra right which is coming in this time which is increasing my tree in so doing they do not they not only rob their own source of spiritual knowledge but they rob the source of others those they endeavor to help have to suffer uh, loss because they those they endeavor to help have to suffer loss because the teachers fail to employ their talents in the way that God will have them. And they choose to place their own limited narrow experience because the people instead of the glorious, instead the people instead they look to themselves. Instead of the glorious gospel of Christ they look to themselves. They are like guide posts pointing in the wrong directions. You know ants. I like ants because they don't have a ruler, they don't have a guide. But there is something peculiar about ants. Wherever they part, you can know they, this is a part. Wherever they part, you will not find sand there. They form, there is a part. There, there is a part which they form. So, none can be lost because it can fall that part. It can just fall that part. Not about control. No. No. Those ants, they form a part. They will forfeit the favor of God and come under his discretion unless they change their course to change the direction and follow the dew from heaven. Don't follow the form of somewhere. What was the form of somewhere? The voices fear. People pop voices fear of eclipse of God. Uh huh. What is that? What does he think does he think he wants to do? He wants the people to look to the papacy as their high priest. I've covered that about the sacredness of the earth. The papacy. Now strengthen and strengthen for predictions. Reveal, praise yourself for more war and famine. Who said that one? The Bible says more calamities is coming. More wars are coming. Does he know the script? Who is the word for him? Revelation chapter 13 verses 2 and 3 says, And all the word wandered after the peace. Revelation chapter 17 verse 1 to 5. It is following Rome, the art woman of Rome. Yes, he's saying more wars and famine, more destructions are coming. Uh-huh. More destruction as are coming. Who knows the script? The papacy? The papacy is eclipsing Jesus Christ. And the world has gone after the papacy. That the viral image of the Pope wearing a dope jacket was a fake. So they are following the Pope who has taken away the light. He has taken away the menorah. He has taken away the candlestick. Do you know the candlestick? The candlestick is what you see here. This is the candlestick. It's a menorah. And they are brought an, a different menorah which is rising from the earth. It's an abomination. We receive message right from heaven. Not this from the earth. This is spiritualism. And this one we cannot follow. For marvel, not for, for the devil will come down like an angel of light. Uh -huh. Millions marvel at Sora Ekris. Marvel for marvel. Not. Who are they following? The papacy. Who is eclipsing God? He's taking away what? The menorah. They cannot see. Would they, would they see the high priest? Would they see the high priest who is entered? Uh, our foreigner who is entered in the most holy place in heaven, they don't see. It is a grievous sin in the sight of God for men to place themselves between the people and uh, that he would have come uh, uh, the, uh, and the message that he would have come to them. 
so all to the people of God. There are some who like the Jews are doing their utmost to make the message of God of none effect. Let these doubting, questioning ones either receive the light of the truth for this time or let them stand out of the way that others may have an opportunity of receiving the truth that the wrath of God may not come on them because they are bodies of darkness when he desires them to be bodies of light god is speaking to the conferences listen do not come between me and my god do not come between yourself and god because god wants to speak to his own people those who live just prior to the second appearing of christ may expect a large measure of his holy spirit but if they do not watch and pray they will go over the same ground of refusing the message of mercy as the jews did in the time of christ if they turn away from the light they would fail to meet the eye and the holy claims of god they would fail to fulfill the sacred responsibility that he has entrusted to them the character and the prospects of the people of god are similar to those of the Jews who could not enter in because of unbelief, self-sufficiency, self-importancy, and spiritual pride separated them from God. Self-sufficiency, self-importancy, and spiritual pride. They say, we are the people, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. But they cannot show the people the signpost where the light is tending to. They cannot tell the people what is happening all around us. And the Lord hid his face from them. The apostle exhorts us in Romans chapter 11 verse 21, If God spared not the Niger branches, take heed lest he also spare uh, not thee. Have you pure the ark for the people of God to enter in? Have you become an interest like the Jews who could not at, uh, allow others to enter? Are you compromising to allow everything, every principle to be swept in? Because of an unbelief, they were broken off and thou standard by faith? Be not high-minded, but fear. Fear, stand by faith. Be not uh, lifted thyself up. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And he went out, not knowing whither he went. Abraham, that is the faith. Be not high-minded. Fear God. Go ahead. Do not listen to men. Do not listen to men rather than God. The Jews despised the good that was proffered them in the time of Christ. And after long for appearance of God, the things that were for their peace were hidden from their eyes, that which, if received, could have been to them their greatest blessing, became their stumbling block. Thus it is today among us. They thought that Christ's teaching was counteracting the influence of the old and only religion that had been from the beginning after they had once rejected the light. Their minds were blinded and they thought Christ's teaching was a deception of the enemy. So they think nowadays the message which we, brought, we bring like Elijah is a deception of the enemy. They are bringing more spiritless discourses which they bring here and there and the message of the hour which we need to shout the people we cannot have the opportunity. All they do and the greatest error the churches are doing is coming up with time the post. Time the post from the general conference, time the post, the order of the world. This is today's matters day. Today's Father's Day. Today's what? Communication Day. Today's uh, Prophecy Day. Today, the, that is the order of the world. The message, the dew from heaven, the message of the hour cannot be heard. A stumbling, a stumbling. This is today among us. They thought that Christ's teaching was counteracting the influence of the old and the only religion that had been from uh, the beginning after they had once rejected the light. Their minds were blinded and they thought Christ's teaching was a deception of the enemy. Christ was bringing out the old religion in its true light. But they had separated themselves from the old paths, from the old truths, and had permitted the customs and traditions of men to take the place of the only vital faith traditional of men the faith like that such of paul where when paul came to the temple they said the jews said men and the brethren do you have any word of the lord to us no did you, today is communication day do you have the message about communication day today no 
you cannot straighten the spirit of the Lord. You cannot straighten the spirit of the Lord, saying, Lord, for this part, today is communication day. For today is communication day. No. No. And you could say, you, you know God is a God of order. You must follow the timetable. Who told you that the spirit of the Lord is threatened? That today we must speak about this and that. The message of the hour. The message of the hour, friend. Sufficient light was given to the Jewish people so that they might have known the time of their visitation. God has sent them the way, the truth, and the life in the gift of his son. Christ came as the messenger of Jehovah and his path was marked with blessings. He was sent to make known the Father. His whole life to it is final sacrifice was a, a revelation of God to men. Carver itself announced him, Exodus 34 verse 7, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that which by no means created iniquity, and will by no means create iniquity. So from Christ, the light of the world, the light of the world, shone forth the clear bright beams of his Father's glory. Yet the Jews comprehended it not. The comparator did not because their traditions were before them. They cannot understand the signs of the times that the ICC is establishing an international court from nation from to nation, which is going to judge under the issue of climate change. They said it should be a what? Catholic groups packed the unique request for international court to act on climate change. So what is going the as you saw, what do you see above? What do you see here? You don't see what they were doing in America? Uh -huh. A support for the art? A challenge of Pope Francis, a shepherd who, who is there for the poor, a Sabbath for the earth to end calamities and that one, and an idol Sabbath, the prince of Dura. You don't see this one? If you never saw that one, then you see this one, Piro, what they are doing with ICC. ICC, they will be enforcing a Sabbath for the earth. They will be enforcing rest for the earth. It will go groppo. As climate change, they say it's groppo, it's going to go groppo, groppo. The pims should be shining to you. This is the ICC thing. Climate change, a Sabbath for the earth. Bishops, interfaith vist. This is going groppo. These things, the Sunday movement is making its way in, in darkness. Yet people cannot see what is coming. A Sabbath for the earth. As idol Sabbath has been exerted. An idol marriage has been exerted. Thus it is in our day. The light of truth is shining upon us clearly as it shone upon the Jewish people. But the eyes of men are as hard and unimpressible as in the days of Christ. Men who claim to be standing in the light are in darkness and know it not. They have so enshrouded themselves in unbelief that they call it darkness light and light darkness they are ignorant of that which they condemn and oppose but their ignorance is not such as god will excuse for he has given them light and they reject it they have before them the example of the past but they will not be warned no and believe is encroaching encroaching in impenetrable darkness no and believe is encroaching them in an impenetrable darkness they refuse to accept the testimonies they ought to believe and are ready to accept tidbits of gossip and testimonies of men showing their credulousness and readiness to believe that which they want to believe but not the word of god there is an alarming condition of things in our churches says the word of god jeremiah chapter 5 verses 25 verse 31 these people fall out that is so much your iniquities have turned away these things and your sins have withholden good things from you for among my people are found wicked men they lay in wait as it has set the snares they set a trap, they catch men. What? Like that they see fishing with the Pope? The prophets, prophets are falsely, and the priests appear ruled by their means, and my people love to have it so. And what will you do in the end thereof? Jeremiah 6 verse 14. They have healed also the heart of the daughter of my people, slightly saying, Peace, peace, and safety. Many years, uh -huh, new millennium upon the earth while profession are closing when there is no peace and now because you have done all these works says the lord and I speak unto you rising up early and, and i speaking and say the lord and i speak unto you rising up early and speaking through my servants but you had not and i called you but you answered not therefore will i do unto this house which is called by my name 
uh, wherein you trust and unto the place which I gave to you and your fathers as I have done to Shiro and I will cast you out of my sight as I have cast out all your brethren. So Jeremiah chapter 7 verses 13 to 17. God will surely fulfill his word to those who will not hear. Will not this, uh, will, will not see, uh, who will not hear, will not see and refuse the light which he sends them through his servants in such a time as the time which evolution is being elevated in this time they say we have millions of years upon the earth we have been living or we have evolved and god has no part in us all this have been following that is the manner of this time that is why they are taking matters to their own hands to many scientific research has become a curse God has permitted a flood of light to be poured upon the world in discoveries in science and art. But even the greatest mind, if not guided by the word of God rather than be guided by the other sea and guided by the fraternity duty, if not guided by the word of God in their research, in their doctrines, in their meetings, be, become bewildered in their attempts to investigate the relations of science and the revelation. Oh friend, we are of yesterday and we know nothing in Job chapter 8 verse 9. Oh friend, we don't know nothing of yesterday. Friend, be wise. Where the diet is being changed in this time, they say it cockroaches, eat this and that. Does it not tell you about what happened on an idol Sabbath like that of Nebuchadnezzar is also coming? Does this not teach you that there is an amalgamation of man and beast, a tampering with our body temples, artificial gums, artificial eclipse? Can it this not teach you? Can not teach you, teach you that there is a, a danger here? We are appearing to Gino men as a great physician who can heal all their maladies as a solution maker. He will bring disease and disaster until popular cities are reduced to ruin and desolations. How are you not wise? How are you not wise? There is an idol Sabbath which is coming in the name of combating calamities and forcing people for worship. The very men who ought to be on the alert to see what the people of God need, that the way of the Lord may be prepared, are intercepting the light God will have come to his people and bringing spiritless discourses and uh, books and rejecting the message of his healing grace in this time. Eclipsing, standing between us and our God. Brethren, I beseech you to come into harmony with the work of God for this time. Oh, that you will have less confidence in your own opinions. Oh, that you might see that it is your inherited and cultivated stubbornness of art which is keeping you away from the light of truth. Your self-esteem, your persistence in having your own will are not according to God's order. You need to cultivate humility and meekness that the Lord may have room to work for you. We all need this blessing of God every day. And you must have a, a realization of this abiding spirit in art. Your will is none too strong. Your will is none too strong if you place it holy on the Lord's side. To be educated and trained by Christ. Christ will teach you like he taught who? God taught Christ. Uh -huh. The Spirit of the Lord was teaching Christ because he came down. The Spirit of the Lord will come down and will teach Gideon and will go outside. Not looking to many to go, but Gideon used stranded because they trusted in him. The Spirit of the Lord will come down and teach Jesus Christ. It will teach Elijah. It will teach who? Not by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. The success of every work depends upon the blessing of God. If the Lord works with you, you will be able to do that, uh, to do what He has appointed you to do with God. One can chase a thousand, and two, uh, and two put the okay. The success, okay. Just a minute. Faith. He sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Look to God. The success of every work depends upon the blessing of God. If the Lord works with you, you will be able to do what he has appointed you to do. With God, one can chase a thousand and two out uh, and two, but ten thousand to fright. But just as long as you maintain this spirit of Pharisee, Holy Spirit will not, cannot work with you because you do not feel your utter dependency upon him. 
when you become learners in the school of Christ like John the Baptist, you will have the simplicity and the meekness of little children. Not literary institution which will teach you, but little children learning from the school of Christ. And they will be willing to counsel with you, brethren, your brethren and sisters. And we will pray earnestly for aid from God. Your ears will then be opened, and you will be enabled to say from the earth, Speak, Lord, for thy servant hear it. That is the teaching of God. The Spirit of the Lord coming down with might power. Not literary institutions. Speak, Lord. For thy servant hear it. That it was somewhere when he was a child. A little child. Be like a little child. Speak Lord. For thy servant hear it. The path of cry, the message of this time. Path of cry. Listen. The trouble in the path of cry. Path of Greek. Path of cry. You need to cry like a little child. Path of Greek. Speak Lord. For your servant hear it. I was shown God's people waiting for some change to take place, a comparing power to take hold of them. But they will be disappointed, for they are wrong. They must act. They must take hold of the work themselves and honestly cry to God for a true knowledge of the work themselves. Speak, Lord, for the servant hear it. The sins which are passing before us are of sufficient magnitude to cause us to arouse and urge the truth home to the hearts of all who will listen. The harvest of the earth is near ripe. That's when to the church, volume 1, page 261. Christian service, page 82, paragraph 4. So, friend, be wise. Do not follow the path of climate change which our leaders are referring. Andra finds partners for presentation at the World Climate Conference in Grasso, using our money for the wrong cause. God wants to put his spirit upon you, but he cannot do this while you are so full of self. Stop on. When self dies, you will feel the quickening influence of the spirit of God. God's people are enjoined to seek for unity that they may be framed together for the task before us. Into an holy temple for the Lord. You are God's building. You are God's husbandry, not the temple for uh, magic and all jabs and swords and this reception and doctrines of men. This is no time for alienation and discord for the indulgence of selfish, perverse spirit. Will you take yourself, will you take yourself in hand? Or will you be ready? Will you take yourself in hand? Or will you be ready to regard your stubborn or unyielding disposition as an evidence of faith of integrity? God forbid that you should be branded as worthy Pharisees and place good for evil and evil for good. You will never have any greater evidence than you have had as to where the Spirit of God is working. Look to Jesus, not men, in earthquakes, in this or this. Do not look to men. Pope asked Catholics to renew consecration of the world to Mary. So, who is he telling the world to look to, to Mary? Looking to men, looking to Mary, Mother Earth. Mother Mary crying, Mary Saju crying. Have you ever heard that? They are looking to men for the living to the dead. If they sp speak not according to these words, because there is no light in, uh, light in them. Quickening word of God has been cast aside. The living word of God. They are revealing Mary. They are revealing Laodicea, the dead. I read this guide to Laodicea, the dead words of Rome that are listening to the word of God. From crying change to LGBTQ. Marriage from the true Sabbath to to idol Sabbath, from the true marriage to an idol marriage, who will you follow? Africans wonder what Pope Francis Vist will achieve for the continent. They are wondering who, under who, under the papacy. Climate crisis a spiritual crisis. They are following the papacy. They are seizing our private lands. This is Jezebel and Rahab, seizing our private lands. J.P. Morgan says, suggests the government seize private property. Private Conscience taking it away, like in the pandemic. And when they shall say unto you, seek unto them that have familiar spirits, unto wizards that spirit, should not have people seek unto their God, for the living to the dead? Isaiah 8, verse 19 and 20. Go post and read. The Lord never proposes to remove our occasion for men to doubt. He will give sufficient evidence to bring the kind of mind to a right decision. But if you are determined to have your own way, if you are like Saul, and willing to change your course because of pride and stubbornness of art, because of ignorance, you will go and afford the Arab woman, you will go and afford the witchcraft, the witch, the gods of Ekron. Because of ignorance of your own condition of spiritual decision, you will not recognize the light. You will say with soul, like Saul, I have done the commandment of the Lord. 
for Samuel chapter 15 verse 13. Be wise. Kiramet witchcraft and the magic of direct action. People cannot see this is magic. These doctrines of men, they are blind leaders of the blind. They are following an idol Sabbath. They are following the power see. Cry of Matherland. Pope Francis opens Amazon scene and calling to listen to the cry of Matherland. Matha, consecration of the word to Mary. Don't you see now it is clear? What they, they are following Rome. They are following Mary, the dead. For the living to the dead. For the living sword, the quickening word of God. By diverse, by diverse a sacred gift from God, sacred, arise and depart, for this is not arise, it shall destroy you. Even as a soul destruction, it's not sacred. Let's go home. This is witchcraft, this is magic. Let's go home. Magic books? This is magic books. I don't have time to cover this. Honoring nature, the earth, the universe, which cans, we cans, pagans worship the earth. What are they for? Paganism. Oh, friend, who can save our leaders? Jezebel sprucks up. The language of your soul has been. I am rich and increased with goods. I have need of nothing. You have not known that you are you that you were poor and wretched and really miserable and blind and naked. You need to hear the words of him who is the first and the last. I counsel thee to buy of me gold, tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and the white remnant that thou mayest be clothed, and that the, the shame of thy nakedness may not appear. Anoint thy eyes with eyes serve, that thou may see. Revelation chapter 3 verse 17 to 18. And the times, friend, selfish pride is holding you from, go from good, and your only hope is far from the rock, uh, from the rock and be broken. And these words come to you. You will say, are these things, are there no others who need the same reproof you say these words are not for you. You reject them. There are men who need to see that the Rhodesian message applies to them who do not see it. I write out your own case definitely that others may see they are in the same condition and that they will, uh, the, and that they will, they with you may make decided changes in their attitudes before God and before his people. You must stop inquiring about the duty of others and go to work for your own soul. Faith. Go like Abraham. Faith, friend. What is this faith? Go ahead. Faith. Also, Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore sprang there even of one and him as good as dead so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off. Having seen them afar off, you must stop inquiring about the duty of others. You must see these things afar off and go to work for your own soul. So through faith in Christ, you may come to the light. When you view Christ as he is, you will decide, you, you will decrease in your own estimation and you increase. The words of God spoken to Saul by Samuel are the word of your consideration, for they apply in your case. First Samuel 15. 22. Obedience is better than sacrifice unto Achan than the father of rams, for repairing is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. You have set yourself to stoutly resist the light. And the stoutly, stoutly was used the stout literal on. You are, you are becoming like the sister to Papron, stout like sister of Papron. You resist the light, and the Lord will not compare it. These are whole arrows. Ed, and the Lord will not compare you to our faith in Christ, but without faith it's possible to please who? To please God as we have heard. The faith that works by love and it purifies the soul produces the fruit of humility, patience, forbearance, wrong suffering, peace, joy, and the willing obedience. It says the scripture in Romans chapter 14 verse 23, whatsoever is not of faith is sin. He that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. That is faith we have covered already. Uh -huh. In such a time like this, you can see that we are being skeptics. We are being forced to eat loud at the sea rather than eating the word of God, Sola Scriptura. We are being forced to eat things which are sacrificed to idols. Sacrificed to who? To idols, to Mary. 
sacrifice to idols as you see in india you see in rome sacrifice to idols we are being forced to eat things sacrifice to idols we will eat the word of god and only really we will live by it we know our bodies are the temple of god we eat this food which is able to strengthen our weak bones yes we will not follow amani who wants worship who wants to divert our minds who wants to introduce uh, even microchips to our minds yes we will not follow that one the promise of god comprehend all the spiritual blessings needed by weak sinful mortals who cannot save or bless themselves that which should cause us the deepest joy is the fact that god forgives sin if we take him at his word and forsake our sins he is ready and willing to cleanse us from all evil he will give us a pure heart at uh, the abiding presence of his spirit for jesus lives to intercede for us but bear in mind my brethren that spiritual things are spiritually sound it's a living active abiding faith that discerns the willing of uh, the will of god that appropriate the promises and profits by the truths of his word it is not because we are righteous but because we are dependent forty erring and helpless of ourselves that we must rely upon christ's righteousness and not upon our own righteousness he that is right and honorable and righteous in his own eyes cannot fear his destitution. Therefore, he cannot ask and receive. He fears no lack. Therefore, he is sent away empty. He is sent away empty. Look to Jesus Christ. Do not become within us and our maker. Do not wonder after the peace. Do not follow this. Do not become Lord's men and God's men between us and our God. Let's I see Christ. Christ has said, I am the way, the truth, and the light, and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, verse 6. If your good works were the way, then Christ would not have said, I am the way. It is not our doings and servings that will save us. If man could have gained heaven by his own efforts, Christ need not have died to make an atonement for our sins. Yet all who tread the narrow paths, that leads to heaven will appear the fruits of godness and give evidence that they are the lights of the world blessed is the man who draweth not back but believeth every word that proceeded out of the mouth of god let there be no standing still no drawing back into perdition the lord god commands his people to do go forward cross the sea cross jordan Grow forward from light to greater light. Watchmen, some have had great light. They have been blessed. They have believed that God, for Christ's sake, forgave their sins. But they have stopped and have made no further advancement. They have made no further advancement, friend. They are holding. Uh -huh. They have not made further advancement. They are standing stubborn standing stubborn and stubborn they don't say the signs of the times that liberty is a stake uh-huh liberty is a stake look to jesus friend in such a time like the cpdc could arrow government to put permission on what you buy uh-huh or that police should go slow on regression of charges uh-huh bob calls for purifying religions of extremism regression of charges uh-huh you see who is behind them is they're all offering the footsteps of the papacy dangerous society are ahead who would you for dystopian society are ahead uh-huh all this we have covered friend uh-huh uh-huh mm -hmm. all this uh, all this all this we have followed bring fruits of righteousness they have not attained unto a greater faith of a broader experience because they have not received the light of the truth which is constantly and foreign to those who follow the light of the world the blood of christ cleanses from all unrighteousness but just as soon as a soul cleans ceases to walk by faith he comes enshrouded in darkness so the only set for anyone is to advance to increase in the knowledge of the truth to be sanctified by it faith those who are content with preaching all discourses and praying uh-huh don't follow all discourses follow christ okay do not follow all discourses follow faith faith and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth for they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, 
If they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country, that is, an heavenly. Wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he hath prepared for them a city. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, this is not our rest. He has prepared for us a country. We have, we have been having in our conferences people preparing free trade discourses. Okay. There is a message here I wanted to cover. Those who are content with preaching all discourses and praying, they bring us discourses, stereotype prayers, fear to improve the talents that God has given them. And these talents will be taken from them and others will be given them. My brethren, if you are the penetration you think you have, you will discern spiritual things. By their fruits, you shall know them. Brother, oh, admirer, you have heard the testimony which God has given you, has given me to peer to the readers, but where you have professed to believe, you have in spirit rejected the message. It is my duty to say to you that you have had all the evidence that the Lord will give you in regard to the special work he is doing at this time to arouse a lukewarm slumbering in church. While the lukewarm and slumbering in church, go to the ants you sluggard and slumbering. They don't have a guide. They don't have a ruler. Those who accept the message is weary had the counsel of the true witness to the Laodiceans and we reply the good righteousness of Christ and the eyes of not to be the, not to be Lord's men and God's many control us which is spiritual discernment says Christ as men as I love I rebuke and chasten be zealous be therefore this is the trumpet of Elijah and repent what you did in the time past repent behold I stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and open the door I will come in to him and will sup with him, and he with me, friend, be awakened. If the church refuses to hear the voice of the every merchant man, refuses to, open, to open the door, then Christ will pass on, and it will be left destitute of his presence, destitute of his true riches. But saying, in self-righteousness, I am rich and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, you will be left alone, friend. You will walk alone and you will abide alone. You see, uh, what was happening in Davos, you see, depopulation. Forcing the, the population to eat insects. Davos conspiracy theories such as Gropo leaders forcing the population to eat insects instead of meat. Having hit the mainstream researchers say, Davos 20, China Catholic social teachings in time of dissolution. Thou shalt not fear the earth, nor keep the Sabbath, fraternity duty, and other say, good news. A reader's guide to laudate see. Friend, very dangerous. Pope Francis becomes more a guide to inclusive captives. All this, they say, come on good for the sake of Gropo, don't fear the earth. All this, this, for this, our Sabbath, they force things over us. They are acting God. Pope Francis, as the world is more reader, acting our high priest, all that is an abomination. They call us conspiracy theories, and all that, friend, we are going home. Thousands are foreign, I see men are foreign. There is aftershocks, aftershocks. Men are falling after shocks. Thousands are foreign. Thousands are foreign. Why? Because of apost apostasy. Nor for the persons that walk in darkness. A thousand shall fall at thy side. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high. Thousands are foreign. Come unto me, or you that leper. Thousands are foreign. Men who refuse the message which the Lord sends them are seeking to find pegs on which to hang doubts, to find some excuse for rejecting the light of heaven. In the face of clear evidence, they say as did the Jews, show us a miracle, and we will believe if these messages have the truth. Why do you not, why do they not hear the sick? These objections recall to mind what was said concerning. Okay. In the face of clear evidence, they say as it is the Jews, show us a miracle and we will believe. If these messengers have the truth, why do they not hear the sick? These See object these objections recall to mind what was said concerning Christ. John chapter seven verse three to four says, Is the brethren therefore said unto him, Depart hence and go into Judea, that they say thy disciples also may see thy the works that thou dost, for there there is no man that does anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things uh, uh, things, show thyself to the world 
for neither did his brethren believe in him. These people don't see their need. And they that passed by revile him, waging, waging, or waging their heads, and they saying, Matthew chapter 27, verse 40, Thou that destroyed the temple and purified it in three days, save thyself if thou be the Son of God. Come down from the cross. Matthew chapter 27, verse 42. They do the same this time. Likewise, also the chief priests, mocking him with the scribes and elders, said, He saved others himself. He cannot save. If he be the king of kings, let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now, if he would have him. For he said, I am the son of God. So these people are blind leaders of the blind. They don't see that the pair beast is here. A pair paste is here, friend. They don't see it. A pair paste is here. Uh, for France says, it is a die warning for humanity. See it's greater omens, destruction in the world. These are the people who prepare it, and they say, this is coming. The scientists are saying, this is coming. Listen to the scientists. What they are saying to in the recent, the papacy. The papacy is the chaplain at the UN. Go, go, go. The, for France, the chaplain at the UN. Go listen who they are following. They follow their leader, their high priest. How can any of our brethren who have before them the Easter of the Lord of, of life and glory open their lips to utter words similar to the taunting words of the murderers of our Lord? Does the Lord lead our brethren to say these things? I answer no. They know not what spirit they are of. Could their eyes be opened, they would see evil angels exerting uh, are around them and uh, trampling in their power to deceive them. The day is just before us when Satan will answer the demand of these doubters and uh, present numerous miracles to confirm the faith of all those who are seeking this kind of evidence. How terrible will be the situation of those who close their eyes to the light of truth and ask for miracles to establish them in deception. When men close their eyes to the light that uh, God sends them, they will reject the most evident truths and believe the most foolish errors. It is certain that these men to take uh, false positions. Well, might we ask, as did Paul in his day concerning uh, brethren who had turned away from uh, sound doctrine, who had bewitched you that you should not obey the truth? Those who claim to be children of God are in their ignorance, working against him, repairing against his providence, opposing his plans, and refusing to do the work that he has placed upon them. And instead of doing their duty, they strive to bring everything in harmony with their own preconceived ideas or narrow views. Instead of bringing their will into subjection to God's will, that his purpose may be accomplished, they choose their own repairious ways and will not yield to his guidance. They follow the Pope Francis that is as their guide. So if this message that Brother A. Jonas has uh, been giving to the church is the truth, why is it that Brother Smith and Brother Potter have not received it, they say, and have not united with him in regard to everything? These good intelligent men would surely know if this was the message of truth, they say. Sentiments similar to this were uttered in the time of Christ, for they say, if this were the truth, could not the priest and rulers know it? Says the scripture. Then came the officers, the chief priests and the Pharisees. And they said unto them, Why have you not brought him? The officers answered, Never man speak like this man. Then answered them the Pharisees, Are you also deceived? Have any of the rulers of the Pharisees believed on him? But these people who know not, not the law are cursed. John 7, 45 to 49. In the days of Christ, there were men who uh, in a card, deep guilt because they denounced his teachings without carefully investigating. It claims to their attention. We are sorry to say that similar guilt is in card today, see through a similar cause. There are many who are the words of Christ, but they do not. They do not in moral independence go to the word of God to search the scriptures and see whether all those things are so or not. These things are so. Though they have souls to save. Though they have souls to save or to lose, they dare to rely upon their interpretation and the science for the so called application that they, their religious teachers gives them. Discourses. They are ever eating them, gambling with the papacy, uniting with the papacy for so long. Calling them say they are one. 
this spiritual same gathering in from India, from all over the world. God has endowed men with reasoning powers that they may compare scripture with scripture, but they don't follow this path. When the Lord graciously sent us to us means of knowing the truth, and we turn from the precious privilege and are indifferent to his message, we insert the spirit of God and we we shall walk in darkness and stumble in unbelief. Be wise. When Christ told Peter should, uh, what should come, uh, and this faith, Peter turned to John and said, Lord, and what shall this man do? The Lord said, What is that to thee? For thou me, if Elder Patra or Elder, uh, Elder Patra and Smith should reject the message of truth which the Lord has sent to the people this time, will there and believe make the message of God error? No one, no, we are to follow, no one but Christ. No one should become between you and Christ. Our salvation is an individual work, do to follow men as your leaders for the message of this time. In that day, there will be no excuse over to offer for integrating to receive the message the Lord sent you. Our sins of the most involved in character exist in the church today. The alarming situation of the people of God require more than tame, spiritless, Christ like grassless summons to cut through the freshly tapless of the earth and to arouse the moral sense spirit. Satan is appearing to the lowest propensities of human nature. Uh -huh. For Christ, friend, all these things, Christians who are overcoming day by day are seeking the glory of God and his appropriation will be careful not only to avoid wrong but continually to follow what is right. Listen to Elijah in this time, Do not listen to uh, leaders of the blind. For Francis, strong voice for all Christians, they are preferring uh -huh, psychology of assistance uh, to job skeptics. These are leaders who are teaching us. Who are they following us for so long? They are preferring the sorcerer of the city. Yes, but if they believe Philip and they believe and find their books and the magic books, they will be saved from their pharmacia magic and sorceries. They will be saved if they receive. We should take no man for our pattern, for we are to see and know for ourselves what is truth. It is of vital importance to us that we allow no one to come and eclipse between us and our God. We should not accept any man's opinions and ideas unless through careful searching for ourselves we found that they bear the credentials of heaven. It is of greatest importance that we individually open our eyes to the convicting power of the Holy Spirit. Let God speak to us through his word. Let God bless the soul. Let no one come between you and God. God has sent a message over upon a message to his people and it has nearly broken my heart to see those who we taught were taught and led by God for under the bewitching power of the enemy. This seat has been bewitched for so long. Philip is preaching. So sorry, who People have been bewitched for so long by this uh, woman of this city, for this sorcerer of this city. Simon, Simon is here. Who led them to reject the truth for this time? Who has bewitched you that you should not preach the truth? Do not men know from the word of God that just uh, such a message as lately been going to the churches must be given in order that the very work which has been going on among us might be accomplished? Why are you sleeping for so long? However, truth will move on, passing by those who despise and reject it. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. When the message of God remits with opposition, he gives it additional force that it may exert greater influence. And those with vital heavenly energy, it will cut its way through the thickest barriers, dispel darkness, refute error, gain conquest, and triumph over every obstacle. I speak that I do not know. I testify, I, I do know. I testify of that which I have seen, those things which you have seen with the career, friend, follow the path. The paths are needed to be to God in this time. Friend, patience, moderation, self-control, and careful case of speech should ever be cultivated and manifested. Go ahead, copy the character of Christ. Cry aloud, spare not, is the message of this time. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, is what we are doing in Elijah in this time. And show my people their translation at the house of David. For we have the mighty hand of God with us, saying, Declare it. The watchman and the words of Zion are asleep. Men, many have no pardon of the work they uh, have to, uh, uh, they have no positive warning to give. There are many who have heard the message for this time and have seen it as a result. And they cannot but acknowledge that their work is good, but from fear that some will take 
extreme positions and the fanatism may arise in our ranks, they have permitted their imagination to create many obstacles to hinder, uh, to hinder what? E extreme positions coming and the fanatism coming. I have so much coming, extreme position coming, zealousness coming. They have permitted uh, things, obstacles to hinder the advancement of the work of the Lord. And they have presented these difficulties to others, expiating on the dangers of accepting the doctrine. They have sought to counteract the influence of the message of truth. Suppose they should succeed in these efforts, what would be the results? What would they speak of us? Suppose such presidents do this powerful work. Suppose the work should be given in. Uh, to the hands of these opposers and fourth finders and they found they should be permitted to give to the charge the doctrine and the leper they desire to give would they present anything better than the lord has sent to his people at this time through his chosen agents oh friend they have allowed darkness to, they have been following the chaplain of the un for france the chaplain of the un where come to the future following the purpose the trail on board, ever the ferocious peace guardian for international peace and in the UN installed. The peace installed in the UN is the papacy. Pope Francis, no one becomes a Christian alone. Danger Pope Francis is their high priest, a moral high priest of danger. Danger, papists, protests and wildlings. These have one mind. With the message of the doubt has aroused the churches from their lukewarm ways, will it is influence tend to give energy and zeal to appreciate the souls of the people of God? Of this, of those who have opposed the light openly or in secret, been giving the people the good that they could nourish their souls, have they presented a message which the entire the, the time demands that the camp may be purified from or mere defilement? Have they anything to offer to take the place of the truth which has been given with favor and zeal to prepare the way for the Lord is coming? Oh, friends, the character, the motives, and purpose of the workmen of God as sent as pin uh, and we continue to be misrepresented men will catch at the word and his statements that they supposed to be faulty and will magnify and falsify these utterances but what kind of work are these lookers uh on doing as the lord placed them in the judgment seat to condemn them his messages and messengers where do not these opposers lay all of the work if they have so much light? If they see defects in the presentation of the magic, why do they not present it in a better way? If they possess such far-seeing discernment, such caution, such intelligence, why do they not go to work and do something? The world is a second Sodom, the end is right upon us, sir, and it is reasonable and it is reasonable to think that there is no message to make ready a people to stand in the day of God's preparation, friend, be awakened. There is anger games coming in the Black Sea, in the sea. The sea are many people. There is anger game coming in the man possessions. Okay, okay. Anger games are coming. The grace of starving humanity are coming before the Lord, friend. Farming of hearing the words of God, Amos 8 verse 11. Where is there so deep inside? So Detro deep, honest, at fed leper. Where is there so much pulling back? Why is there so much continual cry of peace and safety? And no going forward in our opinions to the Lord's command. Is the Lord is the angel's message to go out in darkness or to lighten the whole world with his glory? Is the light of God's spirit to be quenched and the charge to be left in destitute of the grace of Christ as the heat of years of repair, where there is no dew nor rain? Certainly, all must admit that it is time that a vivifying, a vivifying heavenly influence should be brought to peer upon our charges. It is time that an imperial pride, love, and supremacy, uh -huh, being rulers, uh, aids, and uh, rulers and guides. Being an acrib, surmising the presentations of the work of others, righteousness and hypocrisy should go out of our ranks. We should ask every man and a woman on which side is your influence. Are you working for us or for the enemy? Are you working where God is uh, working or are you working with the enemy? Are you for us or you are for the enemy? Says Christ, he that is not with me is against me. And he that is not with me is against me. And he that God has not with me is scattered abroad. Are you awake? Are you with us or you are fishing with the Pope, reflecting the Pope as his teaching? Who said are you? Uh -huh. On at the Pope France calls all to see the world through the eyes of, of the Creator. Fishing the Pope, who are you following? Transfiguration of Pope Francis? Are you transfigured uh, following the pattern of uh, Jesus Christ or the pattern of the Antichrist? Pope Francis became the social media star. Are you following the uh, morning star or you are following the papacy as your star? Oh friend, 
who are you following as your leader? Are you following evolution or are you following creation? Are you following an idol Sabbath or are you following the 70 days Sabbath which God gave us from the beginning? Whose side are you? Are you following the what is teacher or are you following the papacy who is the pastor? They are good, they are shepherd. Are you following the good shepherd or are you following the idol shepherd? May God help you. Father, hold, hold in Jesus' name. Amen. The idea is entertained by many that a man may practice anything that he considers believes to be right. Awake. Some consciences are already seared us with a hot iron. Men, uh, men are having a hot iron. They cannot be changed. They cannot be turned to the truth. They are being in darkness for so long, friend. May God help you to walk. Walk where you have the light, lest the darkness come upon you, friend. And no, uh, uh, no church can live by sparks of its own kindling. Walk where there is light, where it's day, friend. Darkness is coming. If there are the light that is in the darkness, how great is that darkness? You refuse to re listen to it, your rejection of it, where it, it will not stop the work, resulting in great loss of your soul. So, friend, be awakened. You will lose the heavenly benefit yourself. If you benefit yourself and you don't benefit others, reach to souls who are perishing, friend. Let's go. Uh, do not follow this journey, this family of Pope Francis of Evolution family. This family of sacredness to the earth, to Mary and nature, not for this crying of a uh, of a uh, foreign uh, uh, of nature. It is retro. Is it retro enough that the most educated and very disciplined disciples of, of Christ can do to reflect light to the world and attract others to the source of the light? But everyone can do something. Let everyone do something for the Lord because darkness is here. If we think a certain cause will do us no harm, we should then look at it from the standpoint of others and ask how it will affect them. So friend, be awakened. For, don't follow the purpose for Jesus Christ. Be sick because uh, many who ought to obey their captain's orders in this time of emergency are unfaithful. The only right thing to do is obey the captain his orders, his suggestions. Do not follow your own ways, for the Lord's ways. If Satan can work upon the unconsecrated elements of many's characters so as to keep them quivering and questioning until it's too late to save to rescue souls who are rapidly getting beyond the reach of help, he will do it. Go ahead. He is holding men away from the work that they should do, holding them back from obedience to their captain's orders in subservancy to their own preconceived ideas. There are many who preach discourses, lamenting the extensive and deplorable depraving uh, now existing in the world today. But the signs of the times they don't tell. But they fail to their part in shedding heaven's light into the world's uh, moral darkness. Which side are you, friend? Are you on the side of the Lord or on the side of the enemy? Are you falling in the side of which people are calling for a third temple or you are looking to the temple in heaven? Which side are you? Is your mind focused on Jesus Christ in heaven where he is in the heaven in the temple or you are following the high priest, the purpose in counterfeit anti uh, high priest in this earth? Which side are you? May God help you. May your eyes see that you may see and understand the signs of sun. Show men by present example what is what it means to believe and live the truth. Where are our teachers working and acting like those who are spiritually blind? Blind leaders are the blind. There is need that the converting power of God should come upon our ministering brethren. For many of the people are far in advance of their experience in the things of God. Oh friend, we deplore the fact that men address their own opinions that they are willing to be governed by their own preconceived ideas rather than by the plain thus says the Lord. For the Lord, your hardness of us so that men will not not give up their own ways that they may walk the ways of righteousness. You are backslidden. Follow the Lamb of God who uh, is to lead you. Friend, have the pardon of souls. Do not be doubters. Or have the pardon of the souls in such a time, friend. For Jesus, for we see what is coming in the evaporation agenda. We are in danger. The light is shining before us. Will you listen to it? To it? Repent. Repent and return. Repent. If they hear not Moses and the prophet, neither will they be persuaded to one rose from the dead. May God help you to see. May your eyes see if they will see. Father, you have spoken in humble tones, for gross darkness indeed has covered us. Help your people to see. Thank you for your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. May God help you to see. Share, please. Thank you so much for being with us this far. The voice of Elijah. Elijah. The voice in this time, are you faithful? Isaac, and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said that 
In Isaac shall thy seed be called. Accounting that God was able to raise him up, even from the dead, from whence also he received him in a figure. By faith Isaac blessed Jacob and he... Friend, arise from the dead. See if you will see. May God be with you. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. May God be honored in Jesus' name.